Okay, so let's check the journal. Things that I gotta do. Hi, OX. Hello, good to see you. OBS should have a hacking screen like when you lo loot in Mass Effect. What? So you see we have Race Against Time, Sovereign. Go to Ilos. That's the last like main mission that we have, I think, maybe. Or it's like at least the end line, you know? The finish line is in sight. So we have Cerberus, where I have to go to the Youngster system in the Voyager cluster. And then we have this. Get to the medical base in Ko Chohe, located in the Kaiko system of Hades Gamma cluster, and eliminate the biotics. So I think the other ones are just keep searching, keep searching. Um, this is in the Citadel, which I cannot do anymore. Uh, keep looking for more, continue to locate and search. Yes. So this is pretty much it. I think we should do service first. Voyager cluster, Youngza. Voyager cluster, Youngza. Voyager, Youngza. Youngza. Message from Admiral Hackett, right. Commander. Oh. Patching it through. Wow. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth wow, incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice okay. job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. Okay, Mr. Hackett. Hi, Toothless. Hello, welcome. Hey, Skulliger. Kabooter, hello. Get to the chopper! <laughs> Okay, uh, Voyager, right? I don't know. Kepler, Maroon. Nana Nago. Thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, so this is where, wait, let's. Let's see if I can find anything here on this planet. It's a never ending space story. Na 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 na. Hi, the Commander, incoming signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. Uh-oh. What did I do? In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. That's quite a delay. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. That's serious, all right. I understand this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. She. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can hey, on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. It shouldn't be over there, over there. It's in the Voyager cluster. That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. <laughs> How did it get there? <laughs> I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible. Hey, Toxic right Phoenix. Hello. Lost. Hey, Tommy. Montana. Hi. Relay network since the war. <sighs> we'll handle it. Oof. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral, and we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. Fifth fleet out. Is is the volume good for you guys? Okay, this is where I can land. Edgebinium. Edgebinium? I don't know how to pronounce it. We're, we're doing those surveys everywhere, as always. Hi, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's good. What is good? Live long and prosper. I know this is not the, but this is the, uh, this is the only Star Trek thing I know, okay? I never watched it. This is, this is legitimately the only thing. Live long and prosper in this. This is the only things that I know. What? What? Hi, Chaotic Taco. Okay, now we land here and see what we can find. 
You have volume good? Okay, good. So, uh... Let's take my boys with me. Or sh maybe I should take Tali with me so I can defuse the bomb maybe better. I don't know. Full many. Hi. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Guys, we're pretty close to 24,600 already. That's... Wow! Look at that! Sheesh! Damn. Okay, let's check the map. Over there. Oh my. Here's the force block. <laughs> what? No Star Trek? Where are the unsub button? <laughs> that was before my time, you know? And I don't know how it is for you guys, but I was... As a kid, I was not allowed to pick the channels that we watched. And my parents were deciding what we watched. And my parents didn't watch many things. So I was not allowed to watch The Simpsons either. Why is this place so big? Oh my god, please no thresh or more. Mars dream achieved. <laughs> What's actually... I thought I have to go over the mountain. Picard practically went renegade in Star Trek first contact. Ooh. Peekapoo? Hmm. Let's save real quick. Hello. Hello, Actimus. How are you? Good morning. Mineshaft. That's the source of the signal. This smells. <laughs> I agree. Your probe didn't crash. It was moved here. Whoever did it is in danger. They may not know what they have. Let's find it before they set it off. Right. Am I already at the location to do it? Maybe I should go explore further. Just Justin, thanks for the follow. Always fire. A friendly hello shot. <laughs> I saw dust. Zisel, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Okay, Garrus is just vibing here. Wait, do I have some cool tunes for you? Nah. Gare's disco time. <laughs> Seven cr cravings or takes to get back to the Normandy in his cal calibration. <laughs> yeah, he wants his calibrations. Good old Gare's. Rex is tired of his shit. <laughs> oh, Gare's, could you stop? Oh boy, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's also so awfully quiet. Let me show you my new calibrations, Commander. Ooh, oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Hey, washed up. Hello, welcome. <laughs> and that's what the humans bring to the Alliance. Dance moves. Snoo snoo. Commander Shepard in a super teeny tiny outfit. <clears throat> oh man, it's really awkwardly quiet. Hi, Symmetra, welcome. Okay, so this is where I'm supposed to go because I have the quest marker there. Let's let's check the other places first. Hey, Garrus. Did some calibra- Oh, I cannot open this. Oof. Okay, never mind. Let's go down. Playing male shepherd, the game changes from romance and sci-fi to the story of blooming romance. Really? I. 
That was a detonator. Someone just screwed us. <coughs> Shepard. I just lost. Last. I just lost like 10 years of my lifetime for that jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> my heart literally skipped a few beats. <sighs> Elan knows what the fuck? Who are you? <laughs> you have me at a disadvantage. My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? An acclaimed leader. In most criminal organizations, it's the one who's recognized as the most successful. <laughs> True. That's correct. Hi, Nerzul. Hello, the Mateo. One who Hi. kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the Verge. You attacked Elysium. You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator. The instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed! I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation? than by eliminating the first human specter. Oh boy. Your autofocus is struggling a bit today. Uh-oh. Hi, Norizio. Hey, Pope. Welcome in. Oh, and morning, Liz. Forgot to do that. <laughs> Hi, welcome in. I can't place it. I'm German, but I don't have a typically German accent. Hi, Paradise. Hello. My crew will come for me. Oh, let them. We'll be ready. An Alliance warship would make a fire. <gasps> Guru, oh, hi! And if you haven't noticed, the oars here are laced with heavy metals. Welcome in, guys. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. Sithra, hello, welcome in. Origami Raid, get folded! Hello! Hi, Newman, thanks for the follow. Welcome in, everybody. How was the stream? How was the rest of, um, of, of seven days? Raid! <laughs> welcome in, Raiders. I'm waiting until, until Guru speaks up. They might have the the pre roll pre roll. Uh, there you go. Hi Audi, say good morning to you and Guru. Hi, thank you so much for raiding over. How was the rest of your stream going? I was predominantly lurking today. I'm I'm very sorry. I hope you had a good time. It looked very fun. Um Rest of the stream went great. We didn't die, so our primitive run is looking good. Of course, I don't expect any anything less from you, Guru. Guys, if you don't know Guru, please go check him out. Amazing streamer, super chill voice, great atmosphere in the channel, great taste in music and movies, and playing mostly survival games, I would say. Stuff like Seven Days. He's recently also playing some Stardew Valley, funnily enough. Um... And all that kind of jazz. Basically, any survival zombie game that you can think of as well. So, I absolutely love it there. I'm spending most of my mornings there. Uh, you look sexier than most German women. Uh, what are your roots? Um, um, <laughs> I was... I, I'm, I had a DNA test and I'm over 80% Scandinavian. And the rest is like... Poland from the from the uh, what used to be Germany uh, uh, around the Baltic Sea. So I'm just I'm I'm just like I guess Viking runes. <laughs> eighty percent, eighty eighty two point something percent. Yeah, Scandinavian. Uh, can't we negotiate? So we just got here, for everybody who needs context, we just got here, we got a signal that there's a bomb. Um, and we got here and now we have this holo guy, Elenus Heliot, that wants to blow me and my crew up. And we try to, like, negotiate now, I think, or ease up a little bit. Uh, I wonder how much Scandinavian I am. <laughs> 
But listen, so it's gonna hit you with the raid and run because it's bad time for Guru leaving the lookup. Of course, have a good day and a great rest of your stream. Thank you so much, Guru. I appreciate you. Have a good night. Stay well. <laughs> and I see you in your next stream. Thank you so, so much. I knew it. Schlesien. Um, Stettin. It's kind of that Schlesien is, yeah. Hi, Luna. Hello. Be back soon. Need to go to the shops. Okay, Michael. See you later. Hi, Pega. Good morning. How are you? Graf, hello. What Shepard's DNA looks mostly alien. <laughs> uh, let's, let's try to negotiate with that guy. It doesn't have to be like this, Halliot. Empty words from a dead woman. Goodbye, Shepard. Orders, Commander. No one panic. I'll think of something. No one panic. We've got air and light and the Normandy's still in orbit. Let's look for another way out. There's no time to get out. You have to disable the bomb before it goes up. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. Okay. Uh... What? 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 <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Wait, wait, where's the bomb? Why why do you always turn me <gasps> Wait, do I have to disable multiple things? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Shit nuggets. You have disabled the bomb. Oh. I hate time things like that. <laughs> also, I didn't see there were three different points that I had to disable. Sheesh. Someone banned the game for spoilers. Hi. Hey, Joes. Welcome. Are you trying for Paragon or Renegade? What do you think? I think I'm doing pretty well with the Paragon part. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Full blown Paragon, yeah. Let's get moving. Wow, he's so underwhelmed. Just lead the way. Oh man. Guys, I just I had five seconds and I just defused the bomb. Could I please get some praise from you guys? Some clapping or whatever. There's the 15% code on the eSwap bot message, not today. Oh shit, yeah. Oh sorry. Oh I knew I forgot something. Um, and, uh, oh God, now I have to change it. Hang on a second. Yeah, the, the, the discount was just for that one day. Hang on a second. I'm putting on some tunes while you wait. Sorry. Ba, ba, da, da, da. Hi, Spider Webber. Welcome. Hey, Dr. Lepper. Hey, Liz. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you? That music swing. <laughs> Aha, now this thing is open. Okay. What a coinky dink. That I get stuck here and now I can go through this. I want to, I'm going to do some shooting Mac Patootin game. I want to shoot that guy. No loot in the corner? Oof. Oh. <laughs> I love that you use the wobble so much, Bex. Glad you like it. Have you seen the two new emotes that, um, that, that Howl animated for us, Bex? The Liz Poke, oh no, Chonky Poke and Liz Poof? Pega, thank you so much for the more sing, please, Redemption. Wow, thank you. And Vatwe, thank you very much for the follow. These are the nasties, right? <clears throat> Do you think I can, like... 
Just shoot from from here. Boom shakalaka. Shields down. Now it turns out they have actually been nice. <laughs> but at last, Liz or oh, at least Liz has, has died, right? Heliot went through a lot of trouble to draw you here. A pity it ended like this, for him at least. Now that you're above ground, <laughs> uh, your suit radio has re-established connection with the Normandy. Time to get the hell out of here. Hell yes. Hi, self. Hello, welcome. Perimeter Poof. secured. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe when I stuff too much into my face. Clear. Yeah, I absolutely love that emote. Why does their Mako thing look so much better than mine? Also, there's some thing right here, apparently. Or maybe not. Oh no, that's underground, right? Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, let's go back. Too much board here! <laughs> I've seen people struggle so much with this section. This makes it look easy, basically, first try. Yeah, first... The, the first time with the bomb, I didn't realize it was timed. And I didn't realize it's three things that you have to disable, not just one. So... That was that. <laughs> This I haven't checked out, I think. Uh, Drakovitz, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. I like effect of mass, right? I'm very excited to see how Mass Effect 2 and 3 will look like. Oh, this is... In route. Let's hack this corpse. Makes sense, right? Tyrion insignia reco uh, recovered. This body is a long way from anything and appears to have been here for quite some time. On the body is a book of drawings, including one of the Sigler, Sigler outpost insignia. Nice. Speaking of analog stick on your controller, Liz, the modular sticks. Huh? Mass Effect 2 is my favorite. So many people tell me that. So, so many people also tell me that they really hate Andromeda, but I'm gonna do a poll for you guys. Um, and the community will decide if I will stream Mass Effect Andromeda or not. I'm reading aloud. Hi, killer. Welcome. The sticks can be swapped. Oh, yeah, this is what you mean. Oh, Bex, have you seen this? Magic! Pure magic. Nurzul, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. <laughs> Yeltner, Kindemo, Dr. Lapper, Firebread, and Spawn. Enjoy the emotes that I made. Welcome to the Chonkies. I think we're done on this planet. I think these things are all explored, pretty much. I started here, and then I was underground here, so... Seems good to me. Let's go back to the Normandy. Jerome, thanks for the follow. Five tier two? Wait, what? <gasps> Nerzu, what the frick? Thank you, Jeru. I would have totally missed that. Oh my god, Nerzu. Thank you so much, mate. That is huge. Hi, Tricia. Hello. What the frick? Nerzu, you legend. Was that a misclick? Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope the people will enjoy the fifth 48, I think. Yeah, 40, 48 emotes. Damn! Thank you so much, Nerzo. Guys, can we get some hype in chat, please? For five... For five tier two emotes. Jesus Christ. Oh my god! And that joypad highlighter is great. I clearly need one, for reasons. <laughs> All the emotes. <laughs> 
I'm great, how are you doing? I could use another coffee though. Oh damn, no. Wait. I have to I have to check my journal before I do anything else. Oh, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I was exploring the, the wrong the wrong planet. Oopsie poopins. Main mission and gameplay are great in Andromeda, but it's way too blo- I, I hear that a lot. I hear that the gameplay is magnificent, but that like story and characters and stuff are meh. So I'm, I'm, I'm very curious about Andromeda. Like graphically, it looks like a big improvement. I have my third cup of coffee now, Liz. <laughs> Kwali! <laughs> Quali coffee. Boom. Enjoy the subs or else. <laughs> oh, this hair. Light metal surveyed. Nice. Symmetro. A first time sub. What the f Symmetra, thank you so much. I hope you I hope you enjoy the emotes that I made and enjoy the, the chunkies and, and, and welcome. Thank you so much guys. We have a first time sub, let's go! Some hype and chunkies and, and claps and chat please everybody. Urokage, one year, what the hell? What is going on today? Is it my birthday again? <laughs> thank you so so much. Thank you so much. Liz, can you show controller, please? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, um... Let me... Here. Wow! This is controller. This is back of controller, has extra buttons here, and you can lock these triggers with these. Pretty, pretty nice. And you can take out stuff. And then when these break, you can replace with new ones. They also come in, come in LED lights and stuff. It's pretty, pretty, pretty rad, pretty wild. And wait, I'm gonna show you here. I made my own design. This one, so it goes with my with my channel design. And when I click the buttons, they're highlighted in the color that I use everywhere. Pretty nice, right? And yeah, I I, I just made that myself. You, you can see my on the on the controller on on the handles and stuff. You can see my forest uh, thing and the veg visier here in the middle. Pretty cool that they let me customize it like this. Very, very nice. Wait, do we guys? Do guys? Do we? I see the 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 bit goal is full. That means we have a song. But did it trigger the alert? I didn't hear it. I think, or I was distracted again. That's also possible. <laughs> Boom. Urukage Sematro. Thank you so much, you two. Thank you very much for the first time sub and for the one year resub. I really appreciate you guys. This is Commander Liz and this is my favorite controller. <laughs> Except. Oh my god, this actually big brain. Fucking me, I know, right? The the Thrustmaster controllers and the gear in general is often used for competitive um, esports and stuff. Um, often for Oh god, how is this game called? Ah, uh, this with the little cars where you... <laughs> oh man, I'm the worst gamer. David, Rocket League! Thank you, Jader. Hi, by the way, welcome in. Rocket League, exactly. It's often used for that. Um... <laughs> with, the play, with the tiny cars, yes, this one. Um, and, and when you like... You use these, these sticks like a, like a maniac, right? They they break quite often. I think I heard that the the profi players they use they have to get a new controller every month or so. Um, so to reduce the waste, 
and the need to constantly buy new controllers, Thrustmaster came up with this idea to have replaceable sticks. And that is abs I love that, you know, I'm... I think we should all look out for having less waste. Like plastic waste and stuff, so... I'm really, I'm really... That was, that was a big, a big point for me. That's a, that's, that's a very cool feature. You don't see that often. Usually, usually brands are like, yeah, well, if you break a controller, you have to buy our super expensive controllers every month. Duh. <laughs> and I really like that they make it like this. Not Mac now, thanks for the follow, welcome. She has such a beautiful nose. Talk about my nose? I don't really like my nose. <laughs> Hi, Professor Wol Wolman. Hello. Hi, Killer. Hello. Makulik. No, I want that. <laughs> oh no! Imagine Rocket League with the but with a with a Mako. Liz, after these side quests, do you plan to explore more systems to survey before going to the end game? Uh. We could do that if you guys want. I don't know how much of the game is left, to be honest. Rocket League is rough on controllers. I can confirm from personal experience. A crash probe. If we're getting rid of waste, why don't we get rid of? I never met a person who actually likes their nose. I bet there's people like that. Uh, they had one official for PlayStation 2, but Sony had issues with their tie-up, so currently no PS, but play PC and Xbox. Yeah, so this controller is compatible with the PC and with uh, Xbox. Xbox X-Series. So you can just literally plug it into your Xbox and play. So you don't have to buy two controllers. It's pretty cool. Hi, Wanda Falco. I like noise. Noise. I love watching Trackmania esports, and normally everybody plays it either with a keyboard or with a controller. But meanwhile, one of the best players is playing the game with the steering wheel. Wow. Cool. I would like to. I would like to test it one day. I, I never played a video game. Like a racing game, and then with a with a steering wheel. You might pipe into a few side quests, like the nuke one that triggers only when you travel to the system. Okay. The thing is that I don't remember to which planet I've been so far, and which I haven't to. You know, please. Ah, it works. Okay, great. Wow. Seems a bit complex. This one. I don't know if that was worth it, but nah, we did it. <laughs> What's your favorite game of all time? Hi, Hilljoy. My favorite games of all time. It's not one, it's a series. It's called The Witcher. I am a massive sucker for The Witcher. Witcher 1, Witcher 2, Witcher 3. I cannot pick my favorite. The whole thing is just one masterpiece. Absolutely loving it. CD Projekt Red did so well with these. Oh, this way. Oops. Oh, I see something in the in the distance there. I have the Xbox 360 controller. I have used it with PC and with the console for the last like 10 years. Nice. <laughs> my I have two Xbox 360 controllers. I have my Xbox 360 since 2009, so that thing is old. Um, it still runs, but it's loud. <laughs> And I'm not playing many games on it anymore, especially because my two controllers that I have. One of them, those analog sticks are just, oops, they're just dissolving. And the other one, I accidentally uh, spilled some pineapple juice over a few years ago. And now when you click the buttons, it's like... 
But sa oh, but sadly the the um Wee. I like to hop over the missiles. Oh. Wee. Wee. <laughs> this is so much fun. Boom, Jackalaka. Malaka Faka. Wait, is there another one? There is indeed another one! Not anymore. Da hello. You watched the series too? Mom's house, what do you mean? I had a steering wheel for the PlayStation 2, but it broke one day. I love to play F1 or 5 with that wheel, and I'm constantly thinking about buying another wheel for like Forza Horizon and the new F1 games. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> love some, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I like the N64 big collector of older stuff. Oh, I've never played with the older um, consoles. I never had a Nintendo, like I, I missed out on so many things. But it's just, I always just got what my, my bigger brother or my, um, uh, my older cousin handed over to me, you know? Like, I just, I just got a PlayStation 1 because my older cousin got herself a PlayStation 2. And then she was tossing away her PlayStation X, like the big gray box. What the frick are you, little malakas? So... And I got the old used PC from my brother, you know? Wait, do we have to... Uh-oh! Research technician. Oopsie poopins. Shields down. Don't be mad, bro! Ah, I'm stuck! I can't move anymore! What the hell is going on here? Charging up. Oh, he dead? He dead, okay. I cannot use my my guns anymore! What the frick? Take cover! You dead? He dead? What is going on? Coffee! Oh my... Ooh, that was like... <laughs> coolly bringing the coffee in like this. Thank you very much. Ah! They're shooting! Ah! <laughs> Hi, happy gamer. I'm ready to uninstall the Elden Ring. I'm stuck on Boss Melina. You can do it. You can do it. I can give you a very good tip if you want. That helped me a bunch when I when I played. I defeated her twice now. Hang on a second, guys. I, I gotta lurk. Quality is life as well. The music is funny. Coffee is more important than firefight? Yes. Eat this, sir. Oh, wow! They fast as fuck. Oh, it's dead already. <laughs> Too late. This will help. You've eliminated the threat uh, at this facility. Continue to one of the other nearby labs. Okay. Sorry, lady. Think we're good, Commander. Wow, that arm looks painful. Uh, this is a server's research facility. Mm -hmm. Hi, 11 meters. This chef gets her own coffee delivery service. Hell yeah. That's the perks of being the commander. Game Boy, SNES, original PlayStation, PC, since I'm 16 or so because consoles are scam shit compared to PC. <laughs> well, some games were just exclusive on, on certain platforms, right? That's why I've never played a Zelda game before, because I never had the, the console for it. I was actually considering getting this, what's it, the Switch? <clears throat> because you can play the Switch, uh, on, the, on the Switch I think you can play Witcher 3 now. So, how cool would it be to just chill in bed and play Witcher 3? That'd be so epic. I, I would do that all the time. <laughs> just like, <clears throat> oh yeah, I'm going to bed now. I could read, but I could also play the fucking Witcher, man. <laughs> hmm. Tempting. Um, hi, Rain God. Hello, welcome. 
Hey, Nubar. Very good tip for Melina. Don't fight her. I mean, you don't... She's an optional boss. You don't have to fight her at all if you don't want to, right? Did I start here? Did I not go here first? Hmm. Oh, no, wait. I, I was coming from there. So this is where, the, this is where I gotta go next. Right? I love my old OLED, O-L-E-D switch. Reminding me I need to get Witcher 3 for it. Second, or if you want a challenge. It's terrible on Switch, is it? Oh no! Why? What's what's wrong with it? Is it laggy or is it just like hard to play or what, what's so bad about it? Do you have a PlayStation 4? Yes, I do. My first ever console was the OG Atari. Mm. Have an awesome stream. Eckler, thank you so much for hanging out. Have a good day. The 2600. Hi for granted. Liz, just get a Steam Deck and you can play every Witcher game plus really most games in bed. But I don't have the Witcher games on Steam, I have the Witcher games on GOG Galaxy. Because I'm a GOG girl, you know? <laughs> Lucas, hi! Thank you so much for the 36 months. That's three years. Deal this. It's so long ago that I found you. You've grown up, expand, and now you play one of my beloved games. Thank you so much for all this time. <laughs> You're so sweet. Thank you so much, Lucas, for the 36 months. Oh no, husks. Oh boy. Thank you very, very much for that long time support. I hope you're doing good. And I'm glad you enjoy Mass Effect as well. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh! Shepard is fine, okay? No worries. Tali, why are you always running in the fire? That's not, that's not cool, man. Medic, 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 medic. Sheesh. Like, why do they always run into my fire? Like, how am I supposed to kill anything if you're always like... Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go. What? He gl wait, what? Guns! Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Spectrum for me, Benny. Rubber keyboard and whatnot. What? You can still use GOG. It's essentially a pocket PC. Ah, it's just called Steam. I thought it- I actually thought you can just play Steam games on that thing. That's cool. We're getting old and what? No, never. Lizards don't age. No, no. <laughs> Garrus, ooh, booty shot. Oh, <laughs> nasty. Wait, are they still alive? Oh, there was no sign of Kahuku among the creeper corpses. He must be at one of the other labs in that area. I wonder area. what Cerberus horrors will find at the next base. Hmm. Hello, secured. love Mass Effect. Me too, guns. Me too. This is still Mass Effect 1, we might finish it today, and then we will go over to Mass Effect 2, then 3, and then I will do a poll and you guys decide if we play Andromeda or not. My Amiga is still in the attic somewhere. I still have the PlayStation X, like the big grey box. And I, I take it out once a year to play the Harry Potter PlayStation 1 games, the first and the second game. Every year. 
It's it's a tradition around my birthday, between my birthday and um, Christmas. That's I don't know fall fall season winter season is Harry Potter time for me. I don't know. <laughs> Every year. Um. So now we can go here. I think let's save. Poof goes the booties. What? <laughs> Tali just wants to be seen. I see you, Tali. I see you. I have an Atari Jaguar with the original Doom. Wow. <clears throat> My internal poll to decide if I should play Mass Effect Andromeda already lasting for five years or so. <laughs> well, see, if you don't want to play it, we can play it together. And then we can all decide if we like or don't like the game. You should stream that here or Discord. Would be fun. PlayStation 1 Harry Potter. Ooh. Old retro games, huh? I tried to stream it on on Discord, but um, sadly the what's it called the emulator, the emulator was wonky as hell. Peekapoo. Ow. Still not broken? Sheesh. There you go. Wait. <laughs> ten of ten driving. En route. Oh, uh, it was funny how they put that song about don't put the blame on me in Andromeda's release trailer, really. Liz, I wave. Hi, Thrifty, hello, I wave back. <laughs> I still have a working Atari, nice. Mass Effect Andromeda is not bad. It's an okay game. Yeah, this is. I feel like it's a very polarizing game. It's either people hate it or people love it. Or like, yeah, I don't know. I we had quite the discussions in chat already about people hating on the game and other people not hating on the game <laughs> and people disagreeing about the game. <laughs> but as long as you guys are interested in me playing it. I would play it. I already bought it. It was it was on sale. So I will destroy you. Sheesh. Chill. Lady, why are you so juicy in that tiny outfit of yours? Look out! Ah! Where you at? You must die. <laughs> I once was a Cerberus commando like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. Last stop to Meg Shepard. We overcook that much. Okay, do we now? Secured. This one seems to have something. Oh, this is Admiral Kahoku. Andromeda is a decent game if it didn't play original trilogy. Okay. Hi, Mar. Hello and good. Hi, Yusha. Good to see you. Hey, Beef. Hello. So, I think I, I... Today, somebody told me that there was a patch for the face animation on some fa face animations of Andromeda, so... As an RPG love, I still enjoyed Andromeda a lot. Okay. Has a fun gameplay, the story is just so weak in comparison to, with the originals. Okay. It's a nice change of pace. It has the feel of a series compared to the action film feel of the trilogy. The hate is more about certain fans than the game itself. Mm -hmm. Tali and Yara, best girls, yeah. I sometimes take certain crew members because I expect certain things that I need, like biotic or tech skills. You check for a pulse, but find none. Admiral Kahoku is dead. Despite the ferocity of the creatures he was sealed in with, there are no signs of trauma on his corpse. The needle marks on his arm suggest a different means of execution. Shepard, over there. It's Admiral Kahoku. Cerberus must have tracked him down. It's 
sorry. I tried so hard and I got so far in the end. The admiral is dead. Wah, 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 wah. Hi, content. Hello. Good morning to you. How are you? Andromeda is okay. I just, I just didn't connect with the characters the same way. Mm -hmm. The combat is fun, but it's really one-sided. You can't do a lot of damage to armor using biotics, and you can't do damage to barriers using tech abilities. And that way, the combat is not fun, since it forces you to play pretty much the same style all the time. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Wait, there's a little... little question mark up here. Greetings! Hi, Elden, welcome. Mass Effect Andromeda patched the facial animations earlier, but they, but by then the memes had become a thing. Same issues with Witcher 3, but Witcher 3 was offered more patience. Yeah. Yeah, Witcher 3... It's surprising how many people forgot w the start about Witcher 3. I mean, there's still jokes made about uh, Roach spawning on Roos, which never happened to me, and I played it twice for 500 hours. Um, but, yeah. What? Rothian data just discovered. There are a few children's toys and some ragged clothes stuffed inside the top of this monument, along with a Prothean data disc. Uh, and welcome in, Elden. Welcome. I have a different theory. Kohuku was a Cerberus agent, and he died while trying to mate with the rock. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm, okay, interesting. Wait. So I think I've been to everything here, right? Have I been here? I think I was like boop, 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 and then here, right? Yeah, I remember. Okay. Journal. Hades Dogs. You found the location of Major Cerberus facility. Head to Neferin in the Columbia system of the Voyager cluster and destroy it. Aha. Uh -huh. White Wolf. Hello. Welcome in. Thank you so much for half a year. For after a bit, almost every Mass Effect stream have to turn. Oh damn, I was too slow. Actually, how they wanted in the trilogy divine, they just only really made it that way in Andromeda. The Witcher 3 animations were way better than Andromeda at release. No, I, I, I don't think they compared Witcher 3 animations and Andromeda. I think they compared um, how patient the community were about patches. Like, Andromeda was released and instantly people made memes and they never changed their opinion about it and Witcher 3 uh, was released buggy and they made memes but they were fixed and people were forgiving and forgetting about this. It's, this is what I understand from edit at least. I've heard Witcher 3 was a bad launch and got patched over time in comparison to Cyberpunk it should be almost the same patch to good uh, but Cyberpunk was so bad because the invest- yeah it's yeah, it was overhyped, you know, Witcher 3 did not have that much of hype compared to Cyberpunk. The expectations were high, the the hype was huge, um, the pressure was so much as well, the communications weren't ideal between developers, marketing, social media, it was, yeah, things went wrong, but I think they learned from it. Rage is my favorite Witcher character list, especially his role in the books. I haven't I haven't gotten to meet Regis in the books yet. I'm in Baptism of Fire still, kind of stuck right now. Um, absolutely love Regis. Definitely one of my absolute favorite NPCs. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, I love Geralt. He's he's my absolute favorite. But like Regis is definitely very, definitely the top of the character of the NPCs. Um, okay, so we need to go to. Columbia System, Voyager Cluster. I am already in the Voyager Cluster, right? So Columbia System. Columbia. Wait, is that where it just was? Yes, Liz. Andromeda could have been the same, but EA just dropped it. It's easier to forgive Box when you get such an epic story like Witcher 3 and the graphics, right? Yeah, which Witcher 3 is untouched in my opinion. It's like absolutely legendary game. Amazon, no. Oh. Ah! 
Colombia. Oh, I haven't been here yet. Cool. Lost all experienced animation team because it was thrown at Anthem's development. They also lost about 13 leads. Yeah, that all that also can be a big impact on the game, right? When the teams change and stuff, the vision changes. I'm actually curious to see how Bethesda games will turn out now that um, Microsoft bought it, right? Actually, I think I will take those two so I have lots of tech in case I need to hack stuff. Hi, Atari, hello. Hey, Blood Rain. I honestly had no issue with boxer glitches with Andromeda, but I also didn't have any issues with Cyberpunk. Me neither. I played Cyberpunk and I had no bugs, glitches, no game breaking things, no crashes at all. Wow. This planet looks pretty cool. Okay, let's save. Witcher 3 is when gaming peaked. <laughs> that was that was great. I'm super excited for the Witcher 3 update that comes out at the end of this year. The next gen update. Cannot wait to play a game for the third time. <laughs> And I hope you guys are not bored with me playing Witcher all the time. <laughs> oh boy! Wee! Oh, 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 oh. Hey. I was even thinking about replaying Witcher 1 and 2 before the game comes out. Because some people were... were saying they were sad that they missed me playing Witcher 1 and 2. Oh, I have a riot of Starfield is not good. <laughs> it's the one game I'm depressed for weeks after finishing. I want to go back to the song, oh, damn it. <laughs> well, there's only one thing you can do. Restart the game and play it again. And again and again and again. Oh boy, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. This is bad this... Oh boy. was even playing on standard PlayStation 4 and yet everyone claimed that it was so broken up unplayable on standard PlayStation 4. And and it was okay for you? Wait, there's enemies up there. Oh no, no no no, stay. Want you to stay. Where the frick is the thing that I want to go to? Here somewhere? Wow, this teeny tiny little object here. Oh, it's a human. Oh no, it's not a human, it's a... Solarian. That I have to hack. Love, love me hacking some corpses. I never played Witcher really, I didn't like the combat. Which, which game did you play? Or try? I actually didn't have many bucks too. Day one, one hours. You could be strictly Witcher 3 streamer, I think, and have a cult following even more so than now. <laughs> I played Cyberpunk in Andromeda on launch, and while Andromeda was playable with minor T-posing and glitching, Cyberpunk was a whole another story out of those two on launch. I would say Cyberpunk was a mess. Oh, hi, Divine. That's so weird because it's like so different for people, right? ID tag recovered. The Cerberus soldier had an identification tag for Captain Varzimth, one of the Salarian soldiers responsible for capturing the leak of one. It's unclear how he came into possession of this relic. Uh-huh. Guys, please make, like, um, we can we can easily start a discussion about this and I know many people are passionate about it and I'm not saying you guys are wrong but while one person couldn't play a game the other one could even on the same like platform some people could play it without bucks on PlayStation 4 some people could play it on PlayStation 4 and had like absolute mess please try to be understanding that you are both right okay you both made your experiences, and you're both right. There's there's no need to prove anybody wrong or right here. You both had your experiences, and they're both right. Uh, 
Um, Giovanni, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Rip. Wait, there's still somebody. Ah, over there. I started playing Witcher 3, but quickly switched to Horizon because of a certain voice actor. <laughs> Anna. I love Anna. Hi, Chi. Hello, welcome. <gasps> Pathetic wolf. Hello. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. Bloom off to Mars. Yay! with buggy games for some reason like Arkham Knight even got took down for a period of bug fixing and I was like what people have that much issues with it yeah it's like I'm also super lucky with with bugs I always find the weirdest things and like sometimes it, with glitches and, and, and bugs and the f but they're always funny but um the games where people say it's a buggy mess I never have issues with those it's quite funny Wait, can you shoot through objects? That's not fair! What the? Maybe it was her. That shot me. Maybe. Dragon Age Origins remains my favorite RPG, but Mass Effect is my favorite series of games. Are you getting back up? Oh, 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 oh! Sheesh! Witcher, but I played Cyberpunk with minor glitches on, uh, on Xbox One. Uh, but I know most people just couldn't even play it. I was just sad that most of them couldn't see Silverhand's story. I'm kind of sad that some people, well, like the majority of people, seem to had this bad experience once and then they never gave the game a second chance. I think that, that makes me sad. Thank you, apart from it being far too hot. Oh no, I, I heard already that it's pretty warm in the UK. How hot is it? Hi, Reggie Freddy. Hello, good to see you. Usually, I usually have bugs where nobody has, that nobody has, and everyone has bugs where I don't. It's funny, huh? Oh, surprise. Okay, done and done. Publishers really just need to be more patient. Uh, yeah, I think the developers just can't keep up with what they want. And then the marketer, they obviously they want to get the hype out, so they are announcing things. I, th I think the hype would be, it would be better for the gaming jo like um, business in general if they would finish a game and then just do minor polishment things and they announce like in yeah in three months this game comes out and that's it just like a few weeks or months not yeah in six years we're gonna publish elder scroll six or stuff like that you know just don't do that just 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 make the game and then tell the communities 
that it comes out in the next few weeks or so when it's done. That that's what I think. And then they can do all the advertisement and hype and whatnot that they want. Hope all is well. Only six. <laughs> yeah, all is well, Ready Patty. I I pinched a nerve or something yesterday in my neck, which makes me like yesterday I was moving like C3PO from Star Wars. You know? <laughs> but today it's it's way better. It's still a little tense, but it's fine. I bought Andromeda and Cyberpunk on pre-order. There were no big bucks. Okay. Whether it can fly any current Cyberpunk and construct robot companions now with two amazing mods. Seriously, you have to check it out. It's like it wasn't vanilla. Wow. Finished Cyberpunk what? Not due to bugs, but due to burnout trying to do all the same side gigs and Yeah, I yeah, but Crow understand. You you have to be like you have to have a good feeling for when you are getting burned out with the game. So if you start to be bored with something, just skip that and just continue with the story or something. Try to build hype so that the community and other people market the game for them for free. Mm -hmm. Six years. <laughs> we heard it here. No, no. Uh, you cautiously press a few buttons and an alarm chimes. The optical database is flashing itself. Quickly, you copy as many files as you can to your heart suit's internal computer. It's memory wiped, the computer shuts down. The files are sure to be encrypted, but you've got time to crack them. Oh man, how lucky I am. Okay. This is a big tro uh, topic currently because even Ragnarok devs were harassed since fans expected an announcement by June 13th. So they heard a release to an update a few days. This trend of slow marketing hype creation is a double edge, sadly. I don't know if they... Maybe they should have never announced that they're working on it in the first place. Why is it still giving me... Do you see that it still shows on the minimap on the corner up there? That it still shows an exclamation mark here? I hate that the game does that. Could you not just... Ugh. New Mass Effect will be out in two years. Oh boy, there we go. <laughs> the one game you can't blame for being rushed, a star citizen. Hi, Attila. I haven't played Star Citizen. I've seen some people play it, like Anna and um, Nemer. Seems to be an online game, right? I'm not a big fan of online games. Like MMOs and stuff. Star who? <laughs> nice Swifty. They hyped it up and overpromised. Should have been announced much closer to delivery, like this says. Yeah. Just see how you how far you get the game and then announce what you have and not what you want it to be, and then you cannot realize it in the time that you have, you know? It's this this big poo. That was close. I'd be worried stuff it was still supposed to be out in November and we still hadn't seen gameplay, if not for the Xbox Bethesda sh showcase. Hi Daff, hello. Hey Fat Wolf, hello. Welcome in. Yep, GG Galaxy is also one of the best clients in the market and they pushed for integration of store clients first too. Yeah, GOG is best. I'm super, super honored to be partnered with, with GOG as well. The only, um, the only game launcher, publisher, however you want to say it, what's, what's the proper name? Launcher, right? Store, game store, that I would ever promote and I'm happy that I, that I can do that. They're the best around. Triple A game has lost so much weight and it's kind of sad. I don't know which game it was, but Quali was super hyped for a game he pre-ordered and then they never really finished the game. Imagine that. Imagine you buy a triple A full prized game and then they just stop working on it. Like, what? It's unplayable. Like, legitimately unplayable. That's nasty. 
<laughs> okay, Content, have fun. Maybe it was Anthem, I don't know. Was it Anthem by any chance? Maybe it was. I, I don't I don't know. I sadly I sadly don't know. Oof, okay, I cannot climb up this mountain. Yeah, GG is awesome. Maybe it is Anthem, I don't know, you would have to ask Quali. <laughs> Gaming platform. Is it a platform? Wait. Metacritic generated so much hate for DA2. Dragon Age 2, back in 2011. Some of it before the game launched. I have not used them as a source since. Yeah, if they are already hating on a game that's not even released yet, that's like... Meh. Big meh. <laughs> Never finished, but again, it had so much potential and looked so cool. Maybe it was Anthem. I sadly wouldn't know. Would have to ask Quali which game it was. Ubisoft announced some elders, uh, older online games are going away. Some devs are seeing if they can keep some servers going. Oh no, what did I do? There you go. Okay, maybe we're done on this on this planet. I'm asking him now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we done. DA2 was originally a DLC for Dragon Age 1, but they decided to make it into a full game and rushed it out. <sighs> okay, that's bad. They need investors to trust them and build that hype to sell the game. Uh, they can just release a trailer once it's almost finished. Hmm. Maybe they maybe maybe they should change it in a way that uh, that investors could have a preview already of what they have, and then it's not public, so that the people the the the, the gamers are overhyped and stuff. They only had one year of development. D two. Dragon Age 2 was a miracle, so even if I don't really like it, or rather it's my least favorite Dragon Age, then I totally do respect it for the death time it took and what it, what it gave us. Okay. List the brilliance of Star Citizen. It's still an ongoing work in progress game. So bugs are like expected, but still it has come a long way in the years. Not sure when it would be a full game, but early access has been going so well, devs updating things each day, a voice for an alternative method of game release since it's a crowdfunded. Nice. Yeah, it's like uh, Seven Days to Die, right? Seven Days to Die is also in early access since 2013 or so, so it's been going on for years. Um, Besieged base. Get to the medical base on Chohe. Cho Chewy? I don't know. Located in the Kekas system. Hades. Okay. Hades, Gamma, Kekas system. Hades, Kekas. Hades, Kekas. Transmission coming in, Commander. Oh. I think you're going to want to hear this Hi, one. Hi, Fosper. Hey, Gypsy. Greetings, Hello. Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. What's your name? Who are you? And who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kohoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Uh, Shaki, thanks for the follow. Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kohoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. Silly location. You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kahoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. Through our contacts, we were able to determine that the Cerberus group was active in the Voyager cluster. Unfortunately, that was all we were able to find out. That is why we are so interested in acquiring copies of the files from you. That's treason. These are classified Alliance files. I am not handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. Cerberus was operating outside Alliance jurisdiction. You don't owe them any loyalty. 
The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. But no secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. Hey, Old Australia. Hello. Hi, newborn. Hello. Good to see you guys. Uh, the shadow broke the slimy sob. Hi, <laughs> Dark Star. Um... Hi, Jaegern. It's been 80 hours and today is gone. My most played game in 2019 too. A lot of fun it was. Playing New Game Plus in Survivor Mode now. Nice, have fun. Hi, G. Hello. Random Red. Godless Dane. Hello. Good to see you guys. Hello, hello. Uh, what do you want with these files? What are you gonna do with this information? Information is a commodity. It can be bought, sold, or traded. Why my employer desires this information is not my concern. I am only the buyer. My loyalty is to the Alliance, not the Shadow Broker. That is unfortunate, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. Oops. Okay, now I now I forgot what where I wanted to go, so um Hades Kekus. Hades Kekus. Hi, Akimi, hello. Will you play Andromeda? I will, uh, I bought it. I'm still in, in Mass Effect 1, and I will do a poll on Discord or here in the chat um, to check if people are interested in me playing Andromeda, depending on that. We will see. So, Hades, and then Cacus, right? Here. Investors tend to only care about ROI, so focus on money returns over allowing projects to finish. Kinda said how much game development often depends on support from people who don't understand the process of game development. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is where- ah oh, yeah, this is where I gotta go. I'm just gonna survey the other planets before... A land. Okay. Yeah, I remember that, you ugly. <laughs> yeah, this was like Fallout 4. This character will remember that. <laughs> Cory, hey, thank you so much for the one year. Wow. Thank you, Cory. Hello Chad, hello Liz, hello Jero. <laughs> Hi Corey, how are you doing? Welcome in. Thank you so much for 12 months of support. I hope you're doing great and I hope you still enjoy the chunkies. Thanks for being around for such a long time. Um, this is close by, let's go there first. Oh boy. Andromeda is a better game than most critics have credit, uh, give credit to it. The trilogy is better but it's still a good game. Yep. I I hear that a lot. And we don't we don't have to discuss it all the time. I, I we've, we've been talking about this a million times, I feel like. I don't want to bore you guys with that. Um like I always say, I'm not judging a game or a movie or a book or whatever without actually consuming the or reading or playing or watching, you know. I'm not judging before. I'm not I'm not basing my my opinion on other people's opinion so unless i played myself i'm not gonna judge it so the only the only thing we can do is play it here and then we can talk about it together and see if i like or don't like it but if you guys are already telling me yeah Liz, i'm not gonna watch you then i will probably not watch it and <laughs> uh, not play it Which one are you playing now? Mass Effect? Mass Effect 1. Desert, hi. Hi, Energize. Hello, how are you? Good afternoon to you as well. Um, I can only hope the Sala majority will be as hyped as the Vulcan majority love to get we got for Andromeda here. I try not to hype myself too much in case the poll ends toward not playing it. 
Uh, hi, Psychedelic. Hello, hello, welcome in. Where's your controller on the screen? <laughs> uh, I am now partnered with Thrustmaster. They make uh, they make gaming gear like uh, wheels and flight sticks, joysticks, controllers, and I am partnered with them, and I am playing with their controller. And you guys can see which but what which buttons I click with that overlay. Liz only cares about ROI. I don't even know what RO ROI stands for. <laughs> what does it stand for? Mass Effect. <laughs> Mass Effect. Hi, Vololo. Hello, welcome in. Let's talk about movies. Has anyone seen Thor 4? Spoiler for opinions. No, I haven't. Liz... Uh, Akimio says, It's just my opinion. Mass Effect's my favorite game series. I've played more than 300 hours between the old ones and the legendary version and read the comics and books and I love the story and the universe they created. Andromeda, I don't consider a bad game as such. Yeah, this is an opinion that I hear quite often. I'll watch you play Andromeda since I want to know your opinion about it. I mean, if you guys don't like it, and I don't like it as well, we can just like complain about the game together, right? Andromeda was clearly a setup for the next game, but was shot down, so I'm kind of sad that they didn't go forward with the follow- Maybe it's- maybe it's something like with the new Assassin's Creed games. They had a new idea, but they had a name that was popular, so they- they thought they are gonna make a successful game by putting the label of another game on it, although it's quite different. Maybe it's the same thing for Andromeda. They thought, okay, we can take the hype from Mass Effect over, for this game and bring people in and then the expectations weren't met return of investment aha uh -huh, okay see i'm clearly not a business person <laughs> you play to your audience for sure but come on come on this at least half of these this exchange is you enjoying what you're playing yeah but if i i'm gonna i would i would play it i would try it and if i don't like it i will stop it you know i'm not gonna if i if i would hate the game i would stop playing it guys Let's stop talking about Andromeda. We will see about Andromeda when I play Mass Effect 3. Then I will put up the vote and then we'll see if you guys want me to play it or not. Now let's play Mass Effect 1. Matriarch's writings recovered. While sif sifting? Sifting through this pile of debris, you discovered another of Matriarch Dili Dilinaga's writings. It's in bad shape, but most of it is still intact. It looks like someone has been living in this place. The small crate held some sta stale food in one of Matriarch Dilinaga's writings. It's still in fairly good condition, unlike the food. Yikes. Ah. It's not clear who owns this container, but you discovered one of Matriarch Dilinaga's writings inside. All the writings and, uh, okay. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I was stuck. <clears throat> Close to the transmitter, your comms pick up a recording of a wistful string quartet. You power the system down. Whoever lived here, they haven't been back for some time. The crates are covered with Chohei's chalky dust, and the status lights of the shack indicate its atmosphere ran out long ago. <laughs> Gotta love those camera programs. <laughs> From the hour's point of view. <laughs> Sadly, no. The hour won't have me, you know. She's too innocent and sweet. She won't touch she won't touch me. Liz, you are cool. Thanks. Gangsta. Liz shift uh examine something thoroughly. So as to isolate that which is most important. Sift. Ah, sift to exit Ah, okay. Thank you. So sifting is um, looking through something, okay. 
I mean, out of the context, I, I, I figured it out, but it's a word that I never read before. I like the song of DJ Quicksilver called Andromeda by so many haters. <laughs> uh, beef, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the to the lizards. This legendary reduces a lot of scripted booty shots and <gasps> what? Okay, I have to play the old version then. You know it's getting bad when you are down to check yourself out just to have something to look at. Wow. Oh, over there, I think I gotta go. I can maybe not climb up the mountain. Sifting through files or sifting through rubble. Okay. Thank you guys for teaching me English. That's good. Mommy! <laughs> Whee! Hello! I'm here to cause trouble. Can I... Can I... Do you think I can... Hang on, I have to test this. For science, of course. I want to park on it. Why can't I? Oh, oh, oh. Almost. Haha. <laughs> Happy jumps. Wee. <laughs> okay, we're done. Sorry. Save. Shep, after no snoo snoo, damn, I got cake. Why no one won it? <laughs> Take down the terrorists, but remember to check your targets. The civilians are so addled by the drug, they wander right into the middle of a firefight. Uh oh. Okay, wait, let's, let's make a proper save before I do that. It's gotta be bad. When Fuller says that refers to cutscenes, nobody will stop you looking at booty on your own. Okay, good. That's that's good. That's good. Uh oh. Oh, many will die. Many will die. I need a sip of coffee. For the death that removed those shots created a mod to add them again. <laughs> Hi, Fred John. Hello, good to see you. Insane scientist. Okay. Hello, insane scientist. Which one am I allowed to shoot? The ones with guns? I'm, I'm killing the ones with... If I can see anything. Okay, she's... She's one of the, the good girls, I guess. Ah! What the... What? I gotta be more careful. <laughs> Lady, I shot you in the face. Why are you holding your shoulder? Garrus! Garrus, honey, why are you doing this? Okay. Oh my god. They have this weird effect on me sometimes. You have to clear the facilities. What? Civilian losses were tolerable? I didn't kill a civilian. Hi, strange ranger. Hello, welcome. And that's a nice rose. Coffee time, hell yeah. Evolution of humanity, huh? Those biotics didn't seem that different from the other scum you deal with. I didn't kill a single civilian. How is the how? I want. I'm gonna look, look around for corpses now. Alive. Alive. Oh, the corpses disappear, right? You didn't, but they did. Did they kill them? Oh. 
I am blamed. I am blamed for them killing things. Stranger, ra Stranger Ranger things for the follow. Welcome. If I remember, it says that even if you didn't kill anyone. Oh, it's nasty, man. Hey, Danger Copter. You might not have, but can... What can the same be said for the terrorists? Oof. I, I, I call that unfair. Game blaming me for... For... T for... Things that I didn't do. Not fair. Not cool. Not cool, game. Not cool. Ah. Whee! Bad guys. I'm the bad guy. Da do 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 He's just standing here <laughs> in the middle of the room. Just like oh Yo Hi. Can I talk to you? It's all so beautiful. Can you see it? Yeah. Very beautiful. Enemies or squad mates may have shot explosive containers. <gasps> Bean deep, though. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Let's kill one and check if mass has changed. <laughs> I'm late. Oh no, Mako, how dare you? Welcome in. Hi, Vobara. Secret Squid. Hi. What audio interface are you using? I'm using the, uh, the Scarlet, fo the Focusrite Scarlet. You can also see that in my panels. I have the rank one panel. There's also my hardware listed. Ah, how am I getting out of here again? Am I done? Report to Hackett. You've neutralized the threat posed by the Biotic Fanatics. Return to the Normandy and use the Galaxir map to report it to Admiral Hackett. Okay. Okay, but how how to get out? Uh, behind me, okay. <laughs> Sorry about the spelling, my keyboard is having a bad day. <laughs> Gonna need to replace it. It's fine, it's fine, it's okay. I think it's less about blaming you for losses and more that the colony has enough people to recover from the incident. It makes it clear when there are no casualties. God damn it. That's okay. I didn't I didn't kill anybody. I'm i I'm certain. So let's blame my team. So this is the last place where we gotta go on this planet, and then we can go back to the Normandy. You did a hard save, you will find for sure when Hackett debris you're back on the ship if anyone actually died. Yeah, well, it's fine. We gonna we're gonna go with what we did. Mm, very sus place here. Very sus. Hi, <laughs> Vidito. Do the Protheans have secret waffle recipe? What? Mate, I haven't had waffles in years. Now I want waffles. I knew it! Still repairing, okay. Uh oh. No. Oh. 
Oh, like the tentacles. Then Pesky Thresher throwing his ass around. Oh no. Apparently there's a little something right here. Right here? Right right here? Or was it just a thresher more? Dark Zeus? Thank you very much for the follow. The Dead Pesky Thresher, yeah. Love the new Thresher more updates and what they did in the original version. All the slimy tentacles. <laughs> tentacles. Oh yeah. At least a Mass Effect legend Legendary Edition, you can see where the Thresher Maw is going. So before it was just like floating around and that's it. The X is the Thresher Maw been discovered, okay. In Vanilla, the player had to get out the Mako and get to kill on foot for full XP. <gasps> what the hell? That's, that's crazy though. Let's save. First ever playthrough, kudos, you made the right choice. Happy to help. <laughs> I, I don't want help, but sometimes if I if I need help, I will specifically ask. We also have this feature here that if I have a question, when you see this, I really want an answer. I sometimes speak out loud and like ask rhetorical questions. It's just my mind, the things that I'm asking myself and that I'm speaking out loud. Um, so when you guys see this, I definitely want to present one an answer to the questions that I'm saying. And welcome in. I hope Deb, DD, can I call you DD? Makamo needed whack a thrasher mole <laughs> at the giant ever. It's a nice feature. Yeah, the idea was from my mod Howl, and he actually animated the um the the uh, the icon as well okay so i just have to talk to i just have to open the map right message coming in patching it through good work commander you took down the biotics with minimal collateral damage it was my fault i killed innocent people today admiral it was not my fault but enough, but i pulled the trigger the biotics had every advantage including human shields you lost a handful of civilians any other unit I sent in would have lost dozens of innocent lives. You saved a lot of lives today, Commander. Fifth fleet out. Actually, I didn't kill a single person, so I blame that all on anybody else, <laughs> not me. Okay, guys, let's check. Let's check my my journal. You have discovered sufficient deposits of valuable gases. Continue to locate and serve the remaining minerals and elements. I need... Oh, uh, look, I... I have... I'm not even close. What, what are they talking about? Didi, thank you very much for the follow. Sure thing. Godspeed, enjoy the amazing story. Thank you very much. Narbox, thanks for the follow as well. Healthy pancakes? Heck it out. I'm saying it's not needed. The OG people grinded for NG+, plus because the skull immunity was broken. In Legendary, there's no need to grind. Have fun with Mass Effect series. Thank you, Adam. I do, I do. I have lots of fun. So, I don't know, guys. These, these strike me as something that I just do on the go. I 
I need plenty of stuff if I want to want if I really want to do those. I feel like I should be just going with the main story. Go to Ilos. The mineral searches are really for the true completionist of the game. I, I like completioning, but I if I would know if there was a way of the map telling me where on which planet I have not been yet, I would do it. But this now is I would have to make take mental notes or physical notes of which planet I still have to go to where I have been, where I have to clear things, where I have to farm and mine and ugh. Nah, I'm sorry. That's 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 too much for me. Like I would have to go through every little thing here and check every planet for the things and I've I felt like I've been quite thorough. Honestly, Liz, those are random finds for money and XP. You find it as explore every planet. There, there really is no reason to go looking for those. You can move on. Okay. Let's go to Ilos. There's just one thing. Okay, let's go. Ah! Ooh, main story, guys. Main story. It's still no snoo snoo. <laughs> so sad. Okay, this is literal Ilos. This is H. A ghetto ton. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay. Here we go, chat. Ooh. Oh, cutscene. Let's go. Shepard, may I speak with you? Too, and what we are about to face. I do not know Susu? what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. It'll be okay. We're not going to fail. I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Damn it! Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. Yes. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. I thought you wanted to wait. So do I. Pew pew pewny! What? <laughs> the moment though! <laughs> the timing! <laughs> the timing is, is crazy. <laughs> Welcome in Raiders! Hi the Shadow, hello countrymen, hello, hello, hello. Pew Pew, how are you? Welcome in! How was the stream? Welcome in. Thank you very much for being your people over here. I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you for, for the raid. I'm Liz, a variety streamer from Germany. I'm living in Switzerland. This is my first time ever playing Mass Effect. This is Mass Effect 1. We are nearing the end, so if you haven't seen this, this is it's big spoiler territory. But I have a I have a feeling this is the moment. The time we've all been waiting for. Snoo snoo. Finally. I think this is the moment, guys. I think this is the day that Shepard gets laid. <laughs> really? I should be sitting in a hot tub? <laughs> Quasica, hello. Welcome in. Hi, big dog. Hello. Damn. <laughs> Whew. I hope you had a good time. What have you been playing? Pew pew. What have you been, what was what was going on in your stream? Hot tub. Okay, okay. You guys. Hot tub time it is. This might be this snoo snoo moment. Yes. This might be. Might be. If I'm lucky. If I'm clicking the right thing. I hope if I say this, I'm not like ruining it. Played more V Rising. Ooh. How do you like it? Is, I hope this is the right answer, guys. I thought you wanted to wait. So do I. Now? Ghibli Ara snoo snoo. The music is so dramatic, oh my god. Guys, if- uh, Can I say something wrong here? I'm scared. I'm scared I'm gonna do the Consort 2.0. Yes, you can break it, but here, top answer is good. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Wow, you are. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. 
Ooh, chat. Look away, you're too young for this. Just tell me what to do. Oh, wow. Wait, isn't she a virgin? Like, she, she, wow. Oh, wait, what? That was scary. Oh, booty. Blue booty. Oh, wow, 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 can I get some snoo snoo in chat, please? Let's go. Let's go, Shepard. Wait, we it's over? It's done? Wait, what? What Shepard? By the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. Want to round number two? Let's go. <laughs> so were you, it was. Let's go again. <gasps> I can say it. Do it again. Ready for round two. <laughs> Commander. Five minutes ETA to the new relay. <laughs> I no. have to go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. What can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> not now, Joker! Oh man, Joker ruined it. <laughs> hey, Platinum, thank you so much for the three months. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you, I hope you enjoy the emotes that I made for another thirty days. Thank you so much. We had snoo snoo. We had snoo snoo. Finally, man, that took forever. <laughs> Hi, Nathan. Welcome, duty calls, booty calls. Uh, Commander. Yeah? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet surface. You took my flower. Take us down, Joker. <laughs> Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Joker's pro. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. <laughs> Imagine just like, squish! Shit, what do I need? I feel like I should take combat, so maybe those two. Because they bring both, right? They bring biotic, tech, and lots of combat. Hi, Fade, hello. Hi, hi, welcome. I fly, welcome, welcome. Guys, like... I, my head was still in the clouds somewhere, and with like thinking about Snoo Snoo with Liara, and suddenly it's like decision time. <laughs> Uffy, what happened to the human girl? What human girl? Oh, you mean Ashley? She went over Bifrost, and she's now. What? What did somebody say the other day? With your childhood dog, <laughs> so nasty. Great scene. Glad I stayed up for it. Gonna get some sleeps now, though. Pew Pew, thank you very much for the raid. Have a good night. Sleep well. Thank you so much for picking me as your as your raid target of the day. Thank you so much again. Scenarius. Real life waits for no one. Oof. Living on a farm, yeah. Wait a minute. Hmm? Ashley went to Valhalla, yeah. I think this might be good. I don't know. I don't want my, my baby Liara to be hurt now, so she has to stay. I want you to stay. Oh boy. Oh boy, the Malaka Geth are here. Ooh, shooting time. <laughs> Everyone, don't say Ashley. <laughs> we could never kill Ashley. <laughs> I didn't kill her either. Moving inside now. Yeet!
Damn, almost. Frazara, thanks for the follow. Advice, the people you take now will be with you for a long time. We have time. to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. Nerzul! Nerzul's gifting 10 subs. Oh, Nerzul, you're such a sweetheart. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs and filling. Gonna wait for a bit. I'm in the middle of some calibrations. <laughs> Fuller, I love that sound. Nerzul, thank you so, so much. I hope the people will enjoy the, the chonkies, the emotes that I made. Welcome to the community, everybody. Thank you so much. Garrus plus Rex, Garrus plus Yara is very good. Okay. I did not know what to expect, so these two are my go-to if I need an all-rounder. Ah! Uh, J. Cool, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Eat this. this thing wow well we were subs for snoo snoo <laughs> oh shit <laughs> pick a boo Oh shit. Are they. Are they moving? Are they fro. No. Oh, now they're attacking. Oh fuck. Oh. 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 I was not paying attention. Oopsie poopins. I was like, when is the thing exploding? <laughs> Hi, Professor Nubius. The graphics on this remake looks very pretty good. I've never seen the old version, so I don't know. Yeet! For information, the very fi final battle can crash if warp is used. Cannon 1, Shepard 0. Hiccup, oops. That was Pepega aim. Can see crap. Okay, one down. One down, one down! There's also some malaka over there somewhere. Uh, hi, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Legendary version of for Mass Effect 1 is for sure much more bright. I recently replayed Mass Effect 1 because of this stream and classic version is much more dark. Okay. 
don't know what you think, but this looks fucking scary to me. <laughs> Fresh run in trouble. Shut the fight. Graphics related. When time comes, we'll let her know. Okay. Uh, you guys can just tell me to save regularly. Uh, if need be, you know? Are my people with me? Or are they dead? Oh, they're dead, right? Oi, mates, where are you? I'm here, Rex. Come here. Rex does sound like a dog, doesn't it? Oh, there you go, Garrus. Good voice. Just save regularly. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna get out of the hot tub now, guys. Been 12 minutes. Living proof. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. It's meant to be foreboding architecture. Always save regularly. Yes, yes. What? What was that message? Cyber Penguin, thanks for the follow. Safe. Ah! Shit. Oh. 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 What is that big thing that you're fighting, Rex? Are you. Are you. Rex, are you fine? Hyper Rex! <laughs> Rex is super hyped. What are you fighting, Rex? Easy, e easy. Ooh, let's not worry. Uh, we'll shout that point. Oh, 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 Garrus, Jesus. Uh, separator. Is that the name, separator? Thank you very much for the follows, guys. Welcome. Hi, retro. Legit. Thanks for the lyric. Thank you very much. Wow. He's dodging really fast. <laughs> He's, he's dancing to the music, to the beat. <laughs> yeah, he's doing that retro, exactly. Exactly that movement. Ooh, loot. Look at this. No! I got stuck. Stuck, stuck. Oh, come on. There you go. Oh! The hello? Oh, it's the stalkers, not the stalkers. Boom, shakalaka. Cannot climb up this little hill. That's it's silly. Can I save now? Ah, oh, thank God. Hi, ex 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 um, ex um, hello, ex um, how are you doing? Okay, we found a door. I want to check out if there's something up here. Hi, herder. Anything else here? Oh, there's another door. Oh shit! Look at this place. This feels huge. Wait, there was a door here, right? But this is where I'm supposed to go. So we're gonna go there later. Let's check out this other place here. I feel like was, there was a door right here. Maybe there's some loot in here. 
It's an elevator? Okay. You can talk to your squad members, by the way. There's something in the air here. Death is on the wind. It's a good place for killing. It's a good place for killing, huh? This place feels wrong to me. And not just because of the gas. Uh-huh. Okay, where am I? So chat, do we imagine the Iron Tally playing Gwen on the ship right now? Yep. Aha, okay. I'm just up here now. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna ask what you're doing there. Hey listen back. Hi Michael, welcome back. Didn't realize where you were. Yeah, end game, I think. Sosh, thank you so much for the two month resubscription. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. I hope you enjoy the emote still. How are you doing? Caden is kept out of the Gwent game. Hm. Not a, no hiding errors, exactly. This pl oh. place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. This is the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We'll have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. I want to save, game. Can I, can I please save? Oof. No save for Liz. Ha, no. Maybe, maybe we do a proper hard save, right? Hi, Dwayne. Hello. Welcome in. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. I'm a bit on the spot here. Nope. There we go. Maybe I can get up here and shoot from here. Okay, seems good safe. I don't really like Caden, so of course he doesn't get to play. <laughs> Aww. I kind of like Caden. I was okay with with Caden. I mean, he's not, he's not Liara or anything, but... No, I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah, this is cursed. Yep, 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 yep. That's it. That's it. Okay, let's try to smack that thing. <laughs> let's try that again. Fuck me life. There you go. Oh shit. Ah, what? Oh, what? C controller, stop doing that. Wait, wait, is it? Oh, it's it's friendly. Huh. Natural cautious. Ashley is space racist. Yeah, well, you know. Are they on my side now? Are they fighting for me now? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> ah! 
Can I make them work for me? That'd be pretty pog. Just imagine I have my own army of Geth. That'd be super nice. Maybe I'm just unlocking more people that, or more things that want to kill me in the end. That'd be not so nice. Generally, it can be a tough fight, as such, there are these amateurs here. You hack them and they kill the other Geth, but you killed the Geth. Oh! Ah! Okay, so this was just for this fight. Oh well. Okay. Never mind then. I don't know where to go first. Hi, Quiet Geek. Hello. Maybe get some loot then. Hacker man. No. Boom, huge gap on that one. Come on, Saren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. Hmm. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. You can't understand it? The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Ren, thanks for the follow. Welcome. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. I'm only getting small bits, it's not clear. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Oh boy. Hi Xena, what do you want to know? Maybe I can help? Inside or beside? <laughs> I feel like if the phrase let's get the fuck out of here isn't used after completing this area it would be an opportunity miss. Fuck this shit I'm out. I'm gonna play my favorite Mass Effect game, Mass Effect 2. Yeah, right after this. Maybe even, start, even starting today depending on how far we get. I don't know how much left is of this game. The Reaper, thanks for the follow, welcome. None of this seems ominous. Not at all. Not a teeny tiny bit, right? This is fine. Hey, the romantic past, by the way. Let's get the fuck out of here. Geth. Oh! Oh, it didn't. Ah, get the fuck. Oh, yeah. Okay. I understand. <laughs> My my brain just autocorrected is as a typo, you know. <laughs> That's my brain for ya. Should be an opponent right there. I'm too small, can't see. But it says that I gotta go this way. Wait, this is where it came from, right? Okay. So The security system is disabled. Return to your vehicle and follow Saren into the underground archives. Go back to the car. 
don't know if this is the path, but I think it is. Here? Yeah, there you go. Flashlight had any more armor? Good idea. The firepower will come in handy. What? I didn't pay attention. What did they say? Are we shooting with the Mako now? That'd be nice. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Or we just haven't run into it yet. Yes, this is what I guess. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's move. Oh, I'm so nervous. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong, though. This bunker became their tomb. The pods are dead, and so is anyone inside. Ooh. That's what we hope in, at least. What is shooting? And see. Is anybody still alive? Hello? I think they did. Let's go. Hi Juno, hello, how are you? Floorless, full power! Hi Swiss, welcome, good to see you. What is that? Is this some kind of magnetic field or what? What's happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I don't think Saren's behind this. Uh... I assume I cannot go through this, so we go in here? Maybe I have to turn it off. Let's go. Missed the first Mass Effect, but I missed the Mako. <laughs> I I like that thing. By now, I didn't like it in the beginning. What do you think we're gonna find? How's now? it going, everyone? It's going good. It has to be How's your day? It specifically targeted us. Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. Vigil. You are not Prothean, True. but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan. Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. What do you want? Get to the point. I don't have time for this. Ain't nobody got time for this. Is Why this three? This is here? the first you one. You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. 
But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding That's the technology. Cool. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the relay is activated and the Reapers invade. Hi Ben, hello, good to see you. Hey Skate Boy. Reaper in dark space. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. What? By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The perfect trap. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Oof. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. They didn't surrender, all of you? The war was lost. If you'd surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control, taken in as refugees by other Protheans. They betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Am I, am I the only one who thinks that there are some similarities between Mass Effect and Horizon Zero Dawn? I have a feeling Horizon Zero Dawn was heavily inspired by, by this. I might be wrong, though, but this is a... Um, this is a feeling that I get. Robski, 20 months! Oh, Robski, thank you so much. How are you doing, my friend? How are you doing? Welcome in. Robski, da hello. Hi. Reapers be creepers. I think Horizon Zero was inspired by Assassin's Creed. I don't know, like, this whole, um... Resetting, like, just destroying... Um, advanced organic life and then resetting and trying again, so to say, thing, and I don't know, the sovereign, the, I, I see I see some parallels, is what I'm saying. I, I don't say that, that they're super exactly the same, but I do see some similarities here, there. Did inspire generation, wouldn't surprise me, yeah. You could be on something, Liz. And Mass Effect inspired a ton of games. Hi, Paul. I had a similar thought for something I cannot mention because you haven't got that far. Oh, okay. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare. 
harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Like this animation, Everything for example, of value, as well. All resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. Liz, I see you're remembering sarcasm detected in this scene. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, also the voice, of course, but I, I can understand if that is just like, um, because it sounds mechanic, you know, like... Sarcasm detected. But yeah, I... I, I I see some similarities between between the Sovereign and the... Gosh, was it Hades? Yeah, Hades and, and Horizons of Dawn and stuff. And some other things here and there. I mean, the stories are different, but there are some parallels, I feel like, but maybe I'm wrong. New sci-fi feed from the ones before them all the way to Asimov, Heinlein, etc. Like the Sifs and Mass Effect. I think Horizon Zero Dawn is its own thing. The concept of rebirth is part of many stories. It's also the base of Buddhism and other mythology and religion. True. But this is the idea of humankind and other organic life being reset by... Uh, by machines, right? By technology. Well, usually it's the other way around. So that's another similarity. But yeah, we, we can just continue. How can I stop them? You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what Penguin I need thinks to do. The, follow. the conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attack, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. Conduit's not a weapon, it's a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But? but the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. So you just hit? What did you do? You were cowards? 8-Bit, uh, thank you very much for the follow. Hi, Moro Kai, good to see you. Star Trek Picard was heavily inspired by this as well. <laughs> I speak up. Hi, Omar, darling, hello. Hi, Ziz. Do you know the Great Filter, also known as Fermi Paradox? Nope. Hi, Blue Bloops. Hello, welcome. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. Wow. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? Wait, wh why did he not just open them and let them go? Instead of killing them? That's nasty. You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. Could have just opened, right? This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. <laughs> I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the but... researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. 
There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning, a way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. But he could have just opened the pods and let those people out who are not essential so they could at least continue their life. In this scenario, right? But keep the super important VIP guys in the pods. What's the circle in the top? <laughs> Hi, Nick. Because the Reapers were still out there. He would have opened them if the danger was gone, but it took too long. So they were right here, close by. For me, part is the conflict between the lack of clear, obvious evidence and for extraterrestrial life and various high estimates for their existence, as 2015 R put it. If life is so easy, someone from somewhere must have come calling right now. Mm. Why not just let them go? If they're not in the stasis, they use even more resources to be kept alive. Hmm. Hmm. The center would have been found out by the Reapers. Aha, uh -huh, okay. I mean, I was just like thinking maybe that he could have let them go and then they could be wandering around and try to live their life. And yeah, if it's not working out, then bad luck for them. But at least they had a chance, you know, to figure something out for themselves. But yeah, if it's like risking, risking the whole thing that the Reapers could find this place and stuff, maybe, yeah, then, then that makes sense. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the conduit? The conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. So we have to kill the Keepers. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Well, that's good. Understand when you play through three. Ah, okay. How can they come back? Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Hmm. Queen Shay, thanks for the follow. Hey, Juan, welcome to you as well. Can you help me? Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Flashy lights. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. Hmm. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Allies, uh-oh. Slowly, 
It has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What true, Jero, true. At our apex, the beacons span the breadth of our empire. We use them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. Mm. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, Hi, Dem but Kielo. if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function. But we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. Music, thanks for the follow. So, when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. Crazy. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. That is so funny because I was just running around the other day, scanning all the Keepers in the Citadel, right? Hi, Pizza Wave. Hello, welcome. I love the Mass Effect lore. Don't know about you, Chad, but I can listen to Vigil all day. <laughs> so much lore. Hey, RS. Uh, hey, Roger. Welcome. How are you doing? It's crazy but amazing. Yeah, that explains the Geth. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keeper has evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. Mm hmm What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Please, no time. Please, no timer. Please, no t Okay, thanks. Thank God, no timer. That was... Lots of lore. Holy smokes. Yo, Shepard Saren is on his way to the conduit, but here is one shit ton of lore for you. Hope you're not in a hurry. Uh, Stingy Stonky, thank you very much for the follow. You say that. No timer. Uh, I say that now. <sighs> Guys, wow. I'm a little bit mind blown now because of all the information. How about a thunk? The keepers. Cute little keepers with a backpack. So cute. Hola, hi Phoenix, welcome. Yeah, that and the Vermeer moment are lore gold. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Guys, I will I will take a quick break because my water and my coffee is gone and I need a quick break. I'll be right back. I hope you enjoy the clips and we will continue 
right after. I'm super excited to see how it continues. Um, hi, Shen. Good morning. Hi, and hello. Welcome, welcome. I'll be right back. Enjoy the clip. See you afterwards, guys. Stay tuned. Renata, follow him through the window. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what do you mean that was perfect <laughs> do i have to do the entire thing again the entire chase no we are women hear our shout we are women we have no doubt we are women we are free we are shut women. the we are fuck women. up thank you Oh, my N-word, huh? <laughs> What's up, homie? <laughs> Press E to do yoga. Let's go. Okay, so, guys, we do we do yoga now to chill. <sighs> so peaceful, much relaxed. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Come on, Michael. Bend the knee. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you do this, you do this. So graceful. <laughs> so graceful. Uh, uh, uh. Fuck dog. Okay, Wait, we... last I'm... one down the mountain bites the protein shakes. <laughs> what? He yeeted me! He yeeted me! That's not fair! Bro, that's not fair! That's not- that's not fair! Oh, fuck nuggets. This ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. I'm okay with buying the protein shakes, I promise! It's fine! fall again there's more or less besides that what do you mean oh that hey what's up with you hey what's up with you <laughs> hey guys i'm back oh my god we gotta continue because i'm super excited to find out what happens oh we we're back in the elevator now okay let's go hi shadow keepers didn't do anything wrong so they just did their job they're so the cool they are cool paragons of civilization they were fooled by the reapers just as we were they failed keep it moving I've got no intention of ending up like them. <laughs> me neither, mate. Me neither. Hi, happy gamer. Hi, Soul Kalo. Ah, uh, guys, I'm so excited. So this is open now, right? Did I save? I saved, right? I'm, I'm saving again. <laughs> Sleep maniac, thanks for the follow. Okay, so I assume I'm supposed to continue here, right? Because now the veil is gone. Uh oh, I see a red dot. In the distance. I see a red dot in the distance! Peekapoo? Peekapoo? Oh boy. Uh. Eek! <laughs> that was close. Wee! <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh shit, ah! Didn't see anymore. Uh, go very fast. Oh, 
We getting we getting off the Mako? Or do we continue with this thing? Oh shit. Peekaboo! I die every time this has a peekaboo! Wait, am I supposed to get off my Mako now? Heck no, I'm taking this thing! Whee! Oh, oh, oh! That was supposed to happen, right? Let's save. <laughs> no, this faster! Uh-oh. I see big, big opponents in the distance, guys. Just around the corner, I feel like. <laughs> it's so satisfying to eat them away with the rocket thing, you know? It's just oh, hello! Shit, 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 shit. How are you still alive? Oh no, too early! Oof. Okay, we good. We good. Paul said you need to mackle your own decisions. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Get ready to blast stuff. Hell yeah, that's that's what I'm here for. Heck yeah. And to and to violate the corpses of Geth. <laughs> this is Mako teabagging at its finest. Look at this. <laughs> Bex would be so proud. Frodo! Connie, thank you so much for the follows. Hi Dylan, hello Hansen, hello. <laughs> Liz, no Liz, you can't snooze with Gath Sentinel. I don't, that was no snooze snoo. That was no love. That was pure. That was just showing my dominance, okay? <laughs> hey Frodo, welcome Wynn, how you doing? Gath lives matter, no! <laughs> You dead? Just saving every time. List that Mako and Colossus action metal metal kissing. Ooh. The tension. Did you feel the tension, guys? Same way as I do, just hopping over. Do you also dodge like this? Shit. Uh, sensei, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Hey, Marvin. Hello. Showing dominance by teabagging Geth is the part of BD Snoo Snoo. Mm, yes. Yes, yes. Quite, quite so. I do. Okay, good. I'm not the only one. Hopping is the best. <laughs> I do the jumping dodge while moving, but generally the can is very effective. What is this light? Oh. 
there, the conduit. It's incredible. Wow. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. <laughs> and these right. Jeff aren't going to make it easy on us. Yeah. But, oh, oh, cutscene? <laughs> Fuck. System's not responding. Uh oh. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the Council. Citadel Control. Citadel Control. Do you copy? Oh. Rip. Oh, nasty. <gasps> what? Conduit closing. Hang on. Things are gonna get a little rough. Do I have to kill them? What am I doing? Am I jumping in? Yeet! Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation Boom! <laughs> nice! Oh, oh, is the map burning? Get out! Get out! Fast! Move that ass! Oh, what an ass is this? Uh, mm. Okay, okay, Lizzie broke the- I did not break the Mako! It'll buff out. This it, is fine. This is fine. Should we take to the, talk to- to Avina? Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. Uh, Shen, by the way, yes, I'm, I'm using the Thrustmaster controller and I'm absolutely loving it. You can- you can see over my head, you can see when I'm- when I'm interacting with it. It's highlighting the buttons that I click in my key color, in the teal color. Critical failures detected across- The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All <laughs> non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Status report. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. <laughs> nice! I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. What happened to the Council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the Council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. She's glitching pretty bad. So glad I made in time for the finale. Hey, Shmi, shalom. You okay, Avina? I think she, she has issues. Saren. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the council chamber. Wait, I thought she had no specifics on A individuals. has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel security is unable to respond at this time. Yeah, because they did. Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency ev- Yeah, yeah. Saren has used the conduit to get onto the Citadel. You have to stop him from transferring control of the Citadel of Sovereign. Okay. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. I love how how positive she is, you know. 
She's like super happy to tell you that everything is burning and going to shit. <laughs> I should have just finished Ghost of Tsushima in time for Liz's ending Mass Effect 1. Hi, Denza. It was such an amazing game, though. I had a blast. Nice. Glad to hear. It's uh, on my radar for a potential next game when we're done with the Mass Effect series. We'll see. <laughs> this is fine. Ooh, Saren. Malaka. I will kill you and I will get your hoverboard, just so you know. Wow, this looks so cool. The Citadel's closing! They're sealing the station! That's cool, like... How it closes. Don't oh, let the enemy ships inside the arms! Shit. How does Space Monkey hi? I'm, I'm awesome, thanks for asking. How are you? Hi, Brubaki, hello? Well, I think... Oh, look how... Oh, it's gonna ram through them. It's gonna be the... Oh! Oh, boy! Oh, boy. Wait, that was not the Normandy, was it? No. No, right? No. No, no, the Normandy is still that. Okay. <sighs> uh. It looks like a giant squid or something. Oh no, it's plugging in. Shit. Uh oh. Saren's locked the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. Gravity? Okay, f this is fine. This is fine. USB always fails the first connection. <laughs> Although it's the right angle, right? Okay, but what am I supposed to do? Shoot this thing? Like... The fuck? Supposed to go inside here, no, right? The sovereign looks like a tick. Hmm. Ugh. I don't like ticks. Hey, Maker, welcome. Oh no. Not a Krogan. No, 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 no. No bully. No bully. Okay, he did.
Guys, by the way, I'm, I'm playing with a controller, as you guys can see over my ad, so sometimes the aim is a bit off, but I give my- I try my best to- to hand out as many headshots as Oops. <laughs> that was- that was bad. To hand out as many headshots as possible. Whee! Oh, shit! <laughs> Shit, there's so many. Oh shit, nuggets. Oh boy. Love playing this part as Vanguard. Greatest of your day, Liz. Thank you for streaming. <laughs> Mordecai, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you. Have a good night. Oh, shit. Just random. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you shooting? Oh, this guy. Ay 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 Aim with the controller is impressed. I can barely walk using one. <laughs> no. <sighs> Camera strength. Thanks for the follow. Sweet cap. <laughs> oh, I was I was crouching. Oops. Oh shit! This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Can I not destroy the shield? Achievement and it said, uh, Achievement Soldier kill 1,000 enemies in Mass Effect. Nice. I'm a good soldier, yes, yes. How many are there? Jesus Christ. There's loot here. Might help. It might sp speed up things. <laughs> Maybe it's gonna destroy. Oh. Let's activate them all. Okay, let's go. Now this one. Get drop ship. Do we just wait now? Do I have to, have to activate another one? I don't know. So you literally sold at a small war in span of a week or two less. 1,000 people, yep. <laughs> Is it flying off? No big boom? Come on! I think I heard the big boom now. Let's go! Oh no, Krogans! Oh no! Healing 
so goddamn fast, man. So bad. Did the other Krogan die? No, he's still there, right? Yeah. Oh no, he's come to bully. He's coming to bully me. Don't do it. Don't do it. No bully. Oh my god. Oh my god. Krogans are so nasty. I strongly advise saving after these Krogans. Okay. Hard save. Thank you very much. Hi Akiba, hello. PT, sir. By the way, hi PT. Sorry guys, I'm very immersed into the game right now, so I'm sorry if I don't say hello or something or I miss messages. I'm sorry. Um, Mad Guns, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Okay guys, here we go. big strong boy I'm just waiting a bit you got this Liz okay Kyle thank you no worries Liz you just have a galaxy to save I know right easy peasy easy peasy maybe I should change give mana to give omni gel or med gel or something <laughs> okay I think now I can take the second guy out Geth trooper Bring it on! Ah. Am I making any damage? <laughs> I don't know. Why sorry Liz you play, everything is great. One down, okay. Next one. Oh shit. Oh boy. Jail. <laughs> this is you're doing damage, yeah. Just took some time until. Okay, this seems to be the last one. Safe? No, of course not. Peekaboo! Ew, what's that sound? I don't like that. Ah. Are we good? Nice. Don't get mad when I say this, but you are playing this so smart. Why would I get mad at you if you give me a compliment? I, I, I'm confused. That's not making sense, mate. <laughs> Actually, I don't really know where I gotta go, but... 
over there, apparently it's an opponent. Those are death, death, death screams, aww. Not so bad. Oh. Hi. I never heard this before, at least not consciously. Uh, tip me over. Thanks for the follow, welcome. Is this where I gotta go? No, I don't think so. Uh, can we activate those those gu gun thingies? They look like guns. Can we activate those, please? Maybe I have to. Maybe that's my job. But um, I don't know right now. Maybe that is what I gotta do. This is why you're murdering the entire people. Because that's what humans do. <laughs> I don't know, mate. Because they're nasty and they try to kill everybody and stuff. Hi, David. Don't get mad this, but you're my favorite e-girl. Aw, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh-oh, I think it's mad at me now. Don't stomp! Don't stomp, don't stomp. Uh-oh. Boom! Shit. Cyber squirrels. Okay, where the hell? Let's check the map. Here. Okay, so I'm supposed to continue and then over down there. Okay. I think I've been there already and was confused. And fatigued. Not guns, their antennas map might help you. Yeah. I think this is the real way where I wanted. Oops. Yeah, this is the way where I gotta go down. Okay, let's save. Access hatch. This is also exciting, guys. Oh, really? We here? Nice to give me a medical kit. That's so sweet of them. Thank you, game. Take cover. Okay. Uh, she won't. I tried. I'll just shoot the bad boys instead. Hope that's fine. <laughs> Guys, where are you shooting? <laughs> Ah, oh, Jesus, Rex. Take a poo. D, let's go. Save all the strippers. <gasps> we have to go to the consort. Yes. Wait, are you telling me you didn't hear all the gunshots in the background? Oh, yeah. Ass effect. Wait, what? Her face. <laughs> it's fucking hoverboard. It's so fucking cool, man. I want this. I want this hoverboard. Give it to me. I might let you live, Saren. Give it to me. I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Wait. Shepard. In time? I'm here now. Killing Geth is slow work. In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I can stop them. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. It won't help, you're still dead. <laughs> what have you done? You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. 
After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now Pokes my doubts are hand. gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Should I try again with charm? Let's go. We can beat him. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. This point is you gave up. Don't give it. Maybe, maybe I should be. Maybe I should be intimidating to him. I don't know. Maybe that would be better. Don't give it. Don't give in to them. This is pointless. You gave up. <sighs> nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with with Paragon. Some part of you must still realize stay blue. this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for. Does it work? For... <laughs> oh, thinking <laughs> hurts. Okay. The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. That's not true. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Man. Wow, I got lots of Paragon for this. Sheesh. Sereno. What the hell? Perfection. <laughs> Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The council is on board. I repeat, the council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. It's me. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. Nice. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Oh, shit. Let's eat but only- <laughs> You know the mods can do that as well. <gasps> okay. Okay, so I have the choice to save the council, let the council die, or concentrate on sovereign. Ay, 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 ay. Obviously, the paragon option is saving the council. Concentrate on sovereign seems the smarter move, though, for me. That's more important, right? Hi, Lookout, hello. Hi, Phoenix. Hi, Rai, hello. Osiris, hello. Good to see you. Imstu, hello. Welcome in. Ah, one severed, hello. Oh, shit. Decision time, oh, no. I mean, I'm, I'm not... I don't like the council. But that's no reason for me to... to, to let them die, you know? 
But I feel like it's gonna have a bad outcome if I f try to save three people now. Three, three council members. Shit. Oh no, I don't know. I wish I could like get a tip now, but oh no. Tony Bear, thanks for the follow. Welcome. What's the order commander? Come in now to save the ascension or hold back? I would... Maybe I misunderstood something again, like the last times when we had big decisions. Like with the hostiles, you know? Definitely not this. I'm torn between save the council and concentrate on sovereign. Yeah, nay. <laughs> Hi, ultimate. Welcome. Hmm. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take concentrate on sovereign. Momix, thank you very much for the gift. It's up to Uber Gold. Uber Gold, enjoy the emotes. Welcome to the Chonkies. I. Oh god, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait until those arms open, Joker. We need all our ships focusing on Sovereign, even if it means sacrificing the Council. I hope you know what you're doing, human. Don't let the Council die in vain. All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. Shit. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Open a comm channel. This is the Ascension. We're Her eyes are so heavy big. Damage. Guardian defenses are over. Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel. Is that the bad ending? Oh no. Make sure he's dead. <laughs> that is so bad now. Because I, I don't know, it's my first playthrough. I don't know if I had time to destroy Sovereign and well, chonky. Uh, had time to to save the council and like defeat sovereign, or just for one, you know. Just to make sure. I mean, <laughs> I like Rex. He's dead. Well, pff, no shit, Sherlock. He shot himself in the head, and then Rex put in the second bullet. Not knowing is the fun. Okay, we get a boss fight. Don't tell me I alone have to fight him now. Without my mates. Ah, oh, shit. Brings in other guys. Uh oh. Uh oh.
Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. like crazy right now. Could you stop running into my fire, Garrus, sweetheart? Really? Time sub. I I appreciate you. I hope you enjoy the emotes that I made. Welcome to the chonkies. Ooh, just ugly malaka. Body shot. Oh 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 oh. Come on, come on. He dead? He gone? Did we do it? Ooh, Saren is pulverized, mate. Sheesh. Hi, lookout. It's shields are down. Now's our chance. Destroy that Malaka fucker. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> pew pew pew! Exclamation mark pew, guys. Let's help. Everybody, let's go. Hard on my flank. We're going in. Pew 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 pew. Let's go. Eat dirt, sovereign. Damn. Why are you zooming to the little finger thing? Go! Oh, that's why. What? No, what? What? Wait, what? What? <laughs> no. No, no, nah, no. There's Mass Effect 2 Shepard, right? F? What? What, I got the bad ending? Why 
What? Shepard, you better get your juicy ass back out of the rubble. Captain Anderson, we found him. They're in here. <gasps> me too? Me too? Me too? Where's, where's me? Take where's it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? What? No! No! What? No! Are you kidding me? Come on, Shepard, come on. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Fuck nuggets, man. Don't do this to me, girl. Oh. <laughs> man, I was so sad. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Damn, I got debated, got goddamn message, game. Master. What's all this about? Ugh. No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my teeth still in place. I'm you sorry. Thank I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If the nobody was still ground, Dr. Leper, thank right you so much for the 10 gift itself. Thank you so much. I you did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need ah! to talk about what happened to the <gasps> Hi, David Lee Rock. Welcome. Amanda Shepard did the right thing. Thank you for the raid. We Welcome to in, everybody. Back to go after Sabra. Was the only nice. Way. I, I wish you could pause this right now. This also presents us with an opportunity. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. Their losses have made the Alliance stronger. They can't rebuild without us. We need to take the lead in forming a new council, one with a human chairman at its head. I agree. Oh, David Leroc, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. How was the stream? What did you do? What have you guys been up to? Welcome in, everybody. Oh my god, guys, we just... Oh, the final battle, and I legitimately thought Shepard is dead. I was so sad. I was like, no, I didn't... I messed it up. Oh, thank you so much, Momix, for the six day. I have to... I have to breathe. Oh, I was so sad. I was so sad for a second. Jesus Christ. Hey Carla, good to see you. Hello, welcome in everybody. I'm Liz, a variety streamer from Germany, and this is my first time playing Mass Effect. Um, we're this is the end of Mass Effect One, so if you haven't played them, this is spoiler territory, big time. So make sure to like mute and stuff. <laughs> hey Snow, welcome in. This is all the fields. We're all the fields. All the fields. Oh God, don't spoil. No spoilers. No spoilers. Yes, please. Karata, hi, welcome. Love Shepard getting that winning half smirk when she's getting out that- Yeah, that was great, that was great. Okay, wait, I have to read. <sighs> they can't rebuild without us, so we need to take the lead in forming a new council, one with the human chairman at, at its head. This doesn't seem right. Will they accept that? It doesn't seem right, yeah. This wasn't mm. some plan for the Alliance to seize power. Forcing the other races to accept our leadership is going to cause problems. Yeah. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in us because of you, Shepard. You saved the galaxy from suffering. You're a symbol of everything good about humanity. Our courage. Our strength. Oh, thank you, Singh, for the 1,000 one, right. biddies. Thank you so much. The other races look up to us now. They won't just accept our leadership. They'll welcome it. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our council chairman should be. I don't care. Captain Anderson for sure. I don't like this guy. <laughs> Fman, thanks for the follow. Sing for the 1000 biddies. Thank you so much. Momix for the 69. This one spoiler, we need a couple of boxes of tissue for Mass Effect 2. That's fine. I'm gonna play Mass Effect more than once for the different choices. Uh, maybe in the future, but right now I think I have lots to do with just playing through the entire series, you know? We still have Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3, potentially Andromeda, if you guys want me to play it, we will have a poll for this. Uh, definitely Anderson. We're about to go to war. 
We need someone with military experience. Someone like Captain Anderson. You make a good case. Captain, are you ready for this? I don't know if any of us are ready for this. But I'll do what I can. So what happens now? Now the real work begins. I just had the idea, Jared takes Snokes. We try to get a community goal, nation goal or something that will make this play evil play through game. What? No, I, I don't enjoy that. And and Leper, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs earlier. I'm sorry, I was completely zoned out. I hope I I hope everybody enjoys the, the emotes that I made. Welcome in. Mass Effect 2 today. Yeah, we, we jump right in after this. Nephian, thanks for the follow. Beefy as well. Thank you, guys. Stay strong, my friend. Reinforcements have arrived from the Rocker Brigade together. We shall achieve victory. Thank you so much, David Lee Rock, for the, for the raid. So, I, I missed it. What did you play? I'm here, promise. <laughs> I just saw you on TikTok. I followed both. Thank you, Ethman. Hey, Skunk. Hello. Oh, Tariq, thank you for the 690. Congrats on finishing the main quest with Liara. Oh, and also the side quest of saving the galaxy. <laughs> Thanks. Now the rework begins. We need to get started. We quit wasting time. Now the rework begins. The Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Yes, let's go. Epic. <laughs> They're just looking after, like, okay, that was dramatic. <laughs> Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, <laughs> it's the end of all life as we know it. We have to show the rest of the galaxy what it takes to survive. With the support of the other races, we can win this battle. With them behind us, we can stand against the Reapers' return and drive them back into dark space. Yes! Fuck yeah, let's go. I'm just floating in space right now? Wait, did I get the good ending? I'm so confused now. Oh shit, the, the high train is blocking your message, Jeru. It's not evil play, it's just more... Uh, I cannot see it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hell yeah, we did it, guys! <laughs> wow, we were. Wow. You're the space Jesus. <laughs> Herder, thank you for the 100 bitties. Blue ending, high paragon score. Hawk, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. It's good boy points. We're gonna get the same story about being a prick. <laughs> Not fearless. You have to wait three years to play the second one like I did. I'm sorry. Music of these games are awesome. GG Liz. We did it. Yeah. Since Twitch is bored, you might want to grab the ending debate from the VOD from me when I tried the clip maker set this stream this 2020 years ago. What? See, thanks for the follow. I've made mostly the same choice the first time, besides some small or more renegade ones like server stuff. Three years to play Mass Effect 2 and five years to play Mass Effect 3. Oh god. No, we can instantly jump in. I was just chatting, so it was my first stream in at least four months. Ah. Coming back. Oh, nice. Welcome back, then. Thank you so much for choosing me to raid after your first stream after such a long time. Core said, listen, Renegade is not evil play, it's just more swearing and doing the same. You get to call everyone asshole, honestly, most of the comments are funny, saying this to emphasize it's not evil. Okay, okay. Fox, thanks for the follow, welcome. I posted a screenshot of it on Discord, also we gotta talk about your time-traveling abilities. I need access to them. <laughs> Rayma, thanks for the follow as well. Yeah, after this, we're just gonna listen to the song. And then we're gonna, we're gonna play Mass Effect 2, guys. Oh my god, 
guys, thank you for all the, for all the subs. Uh, Ginger B, thanks for the two month subscription with Prime. I appreciate you. And Croc Score, you just got here, mate. Thank you so much for giving me your Prime sub. I hope you enjoy the emotes that I made. Welcome to the Chunkies. Save after the credits? Okay. The start of Mass Effect was so epic. Oh, you guys get me so hyped. <laughs> Desert, thanks for the follow. We're gonna start today or next stream? No, today. Right now. We're gonna start right now. We're just waiting for the credits or the song. Final thoughts of Mass Effect 1, love it. It was a slow start, but then I really, really loved it. I mean, I'm not crying. I'm not crying in a game when I don't care. I literally burst out in tears when I thought Shepard died. <laughs> so that, is, that means I really like it. Oh, I've read it, Jerry. Thank you for reposting. Hi, Smash. Oh, Smask, sorry. Already getting goosebumps thinking about the intro. Wow. Chrono Bird and Ar Arkahan? Arkahan. Thanks for the follows. Am I can you guys hear me? The music is so loud. Being an asshole, but more actually like human-centric. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Okay, so Paragon is more pro-unity, less human humanity first. Okay. I moments the arrow. Norman thanks. And Firefeather, thanks for the two month Lisa. We'll come back and hurry the emotes as well. Thank you. That song slaps. Watch the Mass Effect Paragon Boss Enemy film. Hmm, there's a film. Hurry, thanks for the fun. I missed Atlas. Was this so satisfying? I wanted to go for a second round, Llama, but Joker called. He always calls in the worst moments. He's such a cock block. <laughs> This may be the only long credit scene I've sat through, just vibing and reminiscing on what Yeah, that's great. Damn Joker. <laughs> ah. Just found out I was gifting a sub seven days ago. Hey Norman, enjoy the emotes. Welcome. The first time I ever finished Mass Effect back in the day. This song was my ringtone for a year after such a hype. Nice. And the, the issue is when you have a, a real banger for a, for a ringtone, you don't want to pick up the phone ever because you don't want the tone to end, right? Uh, this is one of my favorite ending game themes. It's up there. We're still alive. <gasps> still alive. Hell yes. This is the song Shepard listens to when driving the Mako. That explains my driving! <laughs> this is the first comment up. This is the best story. I'm looking for the best DLC. Mm -hmm. She would break him literally. Joker's the one to snoo Shepless. Like, yeah, well, he. He has, he has easily breakable bones, you know, that'd be a dangerous for him. I have Mike Oldfield, nuclear, as my turn, I often make people wait, because I'm jamming, yeah! <laughs> have to find a good spot where Chad got this at the end to clip it for Fairlight. Well, he wants to see... He wants to see the end mission of 2 and the, um... So loud. He wants to see the end of, of two and the DLC of three, I think. Palace oh, using the same price. Yeah, he has he has he said like easy breakable bones. He said those himself. Mm, 
Joker's a power button. Jero, are you making a jam pyramid? Yep, those are his faves, Liz. <laughs> Joker's my favorite side character. He's he's cool, I like him. Balak. Kate Bowman, oh boy. Special thanks. <laughs> nice. Very nice. So what do I do now? Do I resume? What do I do? GG. <laughs> Thank you guys for accompanying me on this ride. I'm late 20, 23, 24. We might get the ME4 pog. This, that, that's it. You start, I mean, and you import. Exit to launcher then, huh? Uh... I have a feeling you might not be able to see this, so I hope I can make it run. Ooh, let's go. So staying soldier or gonna try a different class? Good question. I don't know. Uh, Jero, can you update the title and the category and stuff? Ooh. So can you guys see that? Okay, let's wait. Let's wait. Sometimes it takes us a few seconds. Okay. Uh, I don't know why why um, OBS struggles so much with with the Mass Effect thing. Mass Effect Two. Let's see if that works now. So we go with title change as we discussed. Yes, please. Hawks, Galady. Bori, thank you very much for the follows. Okay, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, come on. Okay, still not picking up. <sighs> Why you like this game, huh? Maybe this will help. Hmm. Ah, there you go. Okay, got it. So, do we import my my bitchy face character, or what do we do? Why does, doesn't Shepard ever run out of ammo? Shepard's so hot that she thermo clips refill themselves. <laughs> yes, import, import. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Save one list Shepard, level 53. Wait, I, I get my end. What? That's like new game plus then, isn't it? Yes, you can change it if you wish import is just. Yes, you can change it if you wish. Import is for the decisions. Aha, okay, import character. So I can make alterations to my character looks. Yeah, we go with veteran again, yeah? I mean... I think veteran was, was a fun experience. Auto level, squad only. Subtitles on, squad power usage. What was that again? Hi Chumpy, I'm good! No, what? No, never auto level. Don't auto level. I had auto level on in my first playthrough. It was fine. It was okay. I will keep it on? Okay. This on is good for squad usage. On vet, you will be fine. Okay. This makes squad mates use their powers on their one just like one. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh... What? What? No, go back. What? I just... What? 
I didn't <laughs> select anything. What? Oh, that was a recap decisions. Okay, I thought I got gonna decide my name and stuff. Oh, hello. Shepard did everything right, more than we could have hoped for. Yeah, Shepard, Shepard did good. Uncovered the truth, and still it's not enough. Oh, hello there. Who are you, Miranda? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Ass effect. Geth. I see. I see, guys. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero. A bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. Are you a cyborg, sir? One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, humanity seized political control in the galaxy. Now the human-led council is forced to respond to evidence that reapers, enormous machines that eradicate the advanced civilizations every 50,000 years have returned. To quell the rumors, the council has sent Commander Shepard to Normandy. Ah! <laughs> I tried! I tried, okay? Oops. Oh, slow motion. <laughs> Normandy. Nice try. <laughs> I come here, hello. Hi, Cell. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Does look a bit better here and there, right? The faces? The cruiser is changing course. Active is very quiet. Trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Oh, ah. Oh, oh, Press lead. Oh. Kinetic barrier is down. Was that the Williams Both scream? Ah. Weapons offline. Somebody get that fire out. be here they damn well better <laughs> the alliance won't abandon us we just need to hold on get everyone onto the escape shuttles joker's still in the cockpit he won't evacuate i'm not leaving either there's no time to argue i need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles i'll take care of joker oh Shit, Nuggets. Shepard! Liara, go! Now! Aye, aye. <laughs> aye, aye, Kip. Everybody move in! It. Go, move go, it, move go! It, move it.
Ukraine. Uh, Mayday! 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 This is SSV Normandy! Go to the cockpit? Okay. We've suffered heavy damage from an unknown enemy! Ashgoth, thank you so much for the eight month resub. How are you? Welcome. Together. Oh. Oh, hi, open space. How's it going? Shit. Oh no, Joker. He had no he had no outfits on, right? Shit, Joker's dead or something. Oh god. Wait, is there a little force field or something? Joker? Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. Yeah. No, that... I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. It's open. <laughs> that thing is like intestines out, sir. Don't throw your life away. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack. I see. Okay, cool. Uh, wait, it's my. Oh no, my oxygen thing is open. And I'm yeeted around in space. Oh, fuck, Nuggets. This is bad. <laughs> I'm finishing Mass Effect 1. Game is like, yeah, you just killed your Shep. I'm like, okay. Hey, Shep is back. You start Mass Effect 2. Hey, Shep is dead. Like, <laughs> how, are you, how often are you gonna play this card, Mass Effect? Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> Benny, thank you very much for the 369 biddies. Game over. 10 out of 10. <laughs> nice. I I understand, guys. The the gameplay was great. Um, the graphics were good. The ass camera was specifically nice. Um, I think that was a little bit action like I, I wish i could have participated in the action but this game is really good now on to mass effect 3. Uh, mass effect genesis is an interactive comic that summarizes the events of mass effect 1. would you like to review the story so far yeah okay three years from mass effect 2. no just another routine mission Ooh, it's voice as well what do they it's always a bit long. say that before oh. a mission of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make. The paths you choose. Every turn step the routine you take. Into anything but. Of course, what? that's how it started. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. But whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Alenko. Good kid. Loyal. By the book. With a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core. Tough. Disciplined. Ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive. Scorching the colony and everything around it as it <laughs> blasted away. Ash. 
We followed the path of destruction to an artifact, a beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. Hi, Sugar Bear. The colony I love had dug you. it up, and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Lieutenant Alenko made the mistake of getting too close. I hit him with some type of energy. I grabbed him and threw him out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. I could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Udina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Udina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. Xeno Fire, thank you so much for the first time sub. Could be guilty Welcome. Of something like that. I hope you like the they emotes that I made. Thank you so, so which much. Meant I needed proof. First time sub, guys. Hide been checked, please. I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. Hi, Yimri. Hello. Good that to see you. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest-looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. <laughs> he turned I out to be Rex. more than just a brute. It was his intel that Virus, led us to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she procured some information on Saren. Hi, Rife. Hello. Legend. Hello. Dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. I think I had the good ending, Yeager. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans. And disappearing I, back through the mass relays to dark space. Can I pause space, this? No. Leaving no trace that they'd uh, ever been. I played mostly controller as a kid. That explained why Saren was after the beacon. Rife. And it made some sense out of my visions. But not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat. But they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. Woo! Go My us. first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I'd need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly... <laughs> Go, Liara! Daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. <laughs> Virus thinks of the follow. Was able to help oh, wait. Me decipher some Sugar Bear, thank you for the ten box. Me. Thank you. Nothing concrete, thank you so much. but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. <laughs> Caden was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I told Liara about how I felt. <laughs> Apparently, she felt it too. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Finding Saren. Hell yeah! Thanks to Liara's Blue help, Bay, we had exactly. our next lead. Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved the queen of a dangerous race of insect-like creatures. The Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they were not happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. Mm. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone, with the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender. 
and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. She didn't cry. Liara was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer. But we soon learned it was more than a base of she operations. She cried on the inside? Okay, fair it enough. It was a breeding Thank ground. you again, little sugar bear, for the Saren 10 bucks. Thank you so, so much. Krogan. He'd found a cure for the genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed. Violently. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't <laughs> the way to help his people. Nasty. And that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the Thank center God. of the base, Thank God you survived. I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew yeah, it was capable Sadani. of doing just that. I really like Rex. What I couldn't I'm happy understand you survived. was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split my team into two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. Hi Siri, hello. We had a nuke and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. Uh-oh. And in talking to him... Uh-oh. I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign, the Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he'd found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence. But he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. But it wasn't fast enough. It's the beginning, Lofrin. This is the story of I the first game. One of so you guys can see all my choices. Ash was a good friend. And a great soldier. But I had to choose. And I chose Caden. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, Hectimus. one of us would die. <laughs> I'm so sorry. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. Hell yes! But Liara saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Ash's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we put our feelings aside for the sake of the mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. Wait. We Did she break up with me afterwards? Close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision. Chose Caden, yeah. <laughs> the Reapers had come fifty thousand years ago, and every fifty thousand years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died like every species before them, but a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space. Slowing the Reapers' return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers, once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space. Bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. Hey, we original. followed him to the this Citadel. This is important. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope that the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. 
But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Council fleets battled Saren's army outside the Citadel, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's Krim, flagship, the, the Destiny Ascension, fell under Hi, attack. Hi, King Howell. Good to see you. How are you? Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our Human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council could be replaced. The fleets were needed here and now if we were going to defeat Sovereign. Yeah, that was my Even train of thought. Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet. The battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left to me to decide. Oh, that's okay. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician, ruthless and ambitious. He would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be placed before him. Hi, original. Thanks for the follow. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough, but fair. But a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. Yeah. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. Hell yeah! I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned cleanup duty. Routing out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Hello. Hi, Nick. Welcome. Mr. Anderson, we missed you. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's a great sign, right? When somebody is not interested in being a leader, it's great. It's a great sign that they would be a great leader. Because they're not there for the power. Commander Shepard has been recovered. I have been recovered! The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Wait. Wait. Is that me? Wait, I'm frozen? They, they put me back together? Okay, I did not expect this. Can I? <sighs> I would like to take this, but make a slight alterations. She looks hella cute now, in this version. She looks way better. Default's better? Okay, guys. We have we have three options. We take the, the one from the first game that I made in my first playthrough. We take the default, or we take a custom and make our own one. What do you guys think? Hi, Yonder, hello. Best Mass Effect starts now. Custom, default, custom, custom. Default, custom. Hi, Auric Moon, hello. Custom, custom. I feel like the majority says custom, to be honest. You can recreate yours if you want. Custom is kinda Corpa. Custom, you get a waste to your previous. Yeah, I mean, I, I would make something that is 
similar to this, but maybe a little bit better looking. But she's a great base, to be honest. She looks amazing already. Can I start with the... <laughs> Can I start with the default chef, please? Oh, this is the one that I used as a base for my first one. Hi, Misha. Hello. Good to see you. <laughs> Cast him. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. Okay, wait. We... Set coat. Wait, how do I... Oh my god. 7 R 1.116.G17 Wait, can I just copy that? <laughs> ah, what just happened? <laughs> ah, can you pose that to me? <laughs> Thank you very much for the first time sob. What the freak? You can copy it. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh my god. Why is this cold so my lock along? It didn't copy. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Thank you, T. Thank you so much for the first time sub here on this channel. I hope you enjoy the emotes that I made. Welcome to the Chonkies. It's nice to have you. Um, why? It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't let me paste. Oh, okay. It just literally says, okay. What the? Hello? My lock of But this is not what I made. This is not even close to what I made. What the fuck? Look at this. <gasps> she looks like Jaja Bings. She looks like Jaja Jar Jar Bings with a shaved head. What the fuck happened? <laughs> you know what? No. No. Yeah. Better. Better. <laughs> Perfect. Mm, mm, magnifico. Uh, facial structure. I mean... Yeah, I think this, this, is, this is okay. Skin tone. I think they made me super, super pale. So this time I'm gonna go with a decent tan, okay? Before it was like chalk. Now we're gonna go with a little bit of tan, like, like this. Complexion. Oh, of course I have perfect skin, obviously. Obviously, right? Okay. Uh, head. Neck thickness? Yeah, we want this- we want- we want this face size. Oh! Yeah. I like- I like the- the sexy guns on her- on her- on her head. Cheek width. No more never been in the sun, please, Liz. What? Oh, the, the cheekbones. Yeah, I remember you guys mentioning this. A, a bit of cheekbones. Wait, cheek width, cheekbones. Uh, I'm scared of the cheekbones. Too many ones in the end with your pasta? <laughs> I don't know what the ha happened there. Ear size. I have small ears. Ears orientation? Oh, you can flap them like this. Maybe I can make it super fast and then I, like... I can't. Aw. That's kind of cute. Okay. Eyes. I like the eyes in this one. Uh, look into- camera, lady! There you go. I have a feeling we can- oh, th these are the eyes, guys.
<laughs> they always they always look kind of okayish in 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 this in this character creation screen, and then they're absolutely ridiculous. Is there something like eyes? Eye shape? Wait, eye height. I want them low. Eye width. Eye depth? Yeah, this is good. Like, uh, the, uh, the, uh, this looks so weird! What the fuck? <laughs> no, I think I think these are the best. Okay, uh, brow depth. Malakato, the hello, hi, crispy stuff. Thank you very much. Ultima, ultimate strife. Thank you, gloomy as well. Thank you so much for the follows, everybody. Welcome. If we mess up here, there might be no snoo snoo in part two of the game. What? Guys, there's also just one time snoo snoo in this game, right? Ah, this is bro depth, okay. Bro height. Do we do we want to be a surprise chap all the time? No, we don't want to be constantly surprised, right? Maybe just a bit. A bit. Iris color. Oh. Oh, purple! Oh, I'm such a sucker for purple eyes. Purple eyes. Da -da 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 -da. Wow, that looks epic, though. Evil, but ooh. bright purple. <sighs> now we're gonna go with my eye color, right? Green. Green. Jaw. <laughs> I love how they turn. You want me to sit in a hot tub? Of course, let's go. Legit, let's go. That is not true. There's snoo there's snoo snoo and looks don't matter. <laughs> I know Cory. <laughs> I didn't I didn't I, that was just a joke, I'm pretty sure. Chin height. Ah, okay. Chin depth. What is what is chin oh okay, I understand. Okay. Chin width. Sorry, guys, that you have to deal with a complete new character creation now. This opportunity for female Trevor. No! <laughs> no! I don't want a Trevor! Why are you so sensitive with the looking around, lady? I think I like this. Okay. Mouth. Mouth shape. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. ah! Look up. Mouth depth, mouth width. It can be even wider. What the? F How? Lip size. Ah. Super juicy, okay. Mouth height. But they're so they're so wide. Why is the why is the mouth so wide? Like what's what's with people who have like super narrow lips like me? Okay, I think this is acceptable. Nose. Now she has a super teeny tiny cute nose. Ah, this is the nose that I used in my first playthrough. Yeah, I like this. This is this is okay. What? Depth. Yeah, I think this is okay. Makeup. <sighs> I'm scared for Mass Effect 3. Big eyes, Mass Effect 2, big mouth. Hmm. Blush color. 
Can I have no blush? I'm a fucking soldier. Lip color. How about natural colors? I love the in-game explanation that they resurrected and reconstructed you to ch close to how you were in the first game, so it's 69% same. <laughs> I'm scared how they're gonna make it look in-game and then I'm gonna regret my life's choices. Is this brown or is this like natural skin color? I can't tell. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh god, I'm so sorry guys. <laughs> Eyeshadow color. Why is the makeup so bad in this game? Why? Like, look at this. But the lashes, at least the lashes are like one point. <laughs> Hair. There we go. Okay, so let's see. That looks so, that looks so, so nice, you know? That looks like Fallout 4 mommy, you know? The haircut that I had before, I think this is still the best one that they have. <laughs> Pretty badass. But I think we're gonna go with this. Brow- what? No, brow color. Yeah, I have pretty dark eyebrows. So... This be good. This is pretty much what we had before, but like in high high quality graphics, right? Oh, maybe we can do something with the eyeshadow color. I don't know. What do you think, guys? That's not your hair. That is the hair that I had in my first playthrough. High quality, yeah, HD. Like you know what I mean, like. Like, in, in better graphics. Can you raise the eyebrow a bit more? Okay. Oh. Okay, wait. Uh, was that here? You want- you wanted to be surprised? Like this? Is better? It screams cap snoo snoo. Lower, lower, lower. Now imagine me with chopped off hair. Thanks, I hate it. Oof. <laughs> I tried so hard. You know, so nasty, Hanson. <laughs> okay, I think I think this looks pretty decent. I think my shepherd looks decent. Wait, can I change the hair, the, the eyebrow shape? Where would that be? Eyes, eyebrow shape? Brow, brow, brow. Do they not? Oops. Oh, thank God they saved this. Liz Activis, hi. Hair, is it hair? Brow. What, what, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, yes. In <laughs> oh my god, the 90s were not a while, I know, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, that's the future. 
That's the future vibros. Actually, I think this is the best. Yeah. These, they look relatively natural. Okay. Oh my fucking god. Confirm. I really like soldier. We call those pencil eyebrows here, yeah. This is the future, yes, yes. <laughs> Mono brow, no brow. <laughs> yeah, there's no mono brow. They don't have that. Okay, soldier, infiltrator, vanguard, sentinel, adept, engineer. What do you guys think? I know that many people said their favorite is Vanguard. What does that do again? Vanguards are outfitted with L5N implants, enabling them to perform a biotic charge that strikes the opponent with incredible force while bringing the Vanguard in close for short range combat. So Vanguard is like close combat, right? My advice, soldier or infiltrator, based on your first play. I like my place. I like, I like shooting and I like sniping. So I, I, when I can, I would like to snipe. But this sounds tempting because it's interesting. Soldier every time. Vanguard is the best. The infiltrator snipe experience is S tier. Infiltrator. Are equipped with cloaking system that allows them to avoid detection for short periods of time, granting a tactical advantage over enemies. Power training. Tactical cloak. Incinerate. AI hacking. Ooh. It sounds a lot like how I played Cyberpunk. Weapon training. Sniper rifle. Heavy pistol. Submachine gun. But am I? can I only do that? Because I really like shotguns and sniper rifles. I don't care about pistols. Or the submachine gun. Just like, I like to, I like to be, I like to do it all, you know, depending on how I, I want to play. If you like sniping, then Vanguard is not really for you. It excels for close combat. Ah, uh, okay. It's the headbutting, okay. Hey Buzz, welcome. Yes, in Mass Effect 2, the weapons in here mentioned are the only ones you can use. Ooh, shit, okay. Sword rifle, shotgun, sniper, heavy pistol. Okay, then soldier so far. Yeah, sorry guys, but this... This seems like soldier is the way, I gotta go. Liz Shepard, Earthborn, Soul Survivor, and soldier. What do you guys think? Does that look okay? She looks a little bit like she had a little bit too much filler for her eyes. <laughs> a bit stoned, maybe. Like what? What? <laughs> well, it's okay. It's okay. She fine. She fine. Something's wrong. She's reacting to outside stimuli. Showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. <gasps> Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Is the end of the future? Brain activity is off the charts. Steps pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Of course her brain activity goes wild. She saw Miranda in that super teeny tiny suit. Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Dead ass effect. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Damn it, camera person, why couldn't you hold still? Oh shit. I'm alive. That is a miracle. Okay, okay, okay. Grab the pistol and armor from you your don't have time to wait around, Shepard. Grab your weapon and armor. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get behind cover now. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. How do I? How do I do it? Oh, I'm supposed to go here. Oops. <laughs> 
Oops. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Thermal, okay, okay, okay. I have to reload. In this game, I have to reload, really? Fuck my life. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. And to cover. Cover. Keep moving. We need to get to the shuttles. How do I get into cover though? Unplayable? What? Bullets matter again. So now I have to pick up ammo and stuff? That's a downgrade. How do I run? Ooh yeah, let's go. What's what's this? Pick it up! Pick it up, Shep! I cannot teabag anymore! Wait, I cannot teabag anymore? Guys, tell me I can teabag. Can I not crouch anymore? What? I cannot... No more crouching? I'll die four. <laughs> no! I was looking so forward. Oh, you guys are... You know, you know I like my teabagging. Shit nuggets. I'm big disappointed. I'm getting cover. I don't. She's not getting into cover. I, I don't know how to cover. She's not going into cover. Why is she not? I don't understand this. Why are you not? Press A. Ah, you have to actively press a button to get into cover now. Okay. Daisuki, Paul, thank you very much. Same key uh, as use key, A button for cover. Mostly for everything. But it's so weird. Before, you just ran to cover and you had to click towards it and then she went into cover, you know? Okay, I will have to learn this now when they completely change the, the stuff. Why don't you pick it up, girl? Oof. Don't waste time. I can't keep the mechs distracted for long. Okay, sucks to be you guys. Sorry. <laughs> Bye. More reinforcements head. Here oh, come the mechs. Sorry. Use the grenade launcher to take them out. Hold LB. <laughs> nice. Okay. We've been spotted. Take the elevator down one floor. Oh. Elevator, da da da. Oh. Okay. What now? Hurry, get to the door, run. But fire. Okay. You're doing fine, Chef. Head to the next room and I'll find. Uh oh. Okay, uh, 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 what? Server's laptop? Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. What can I, over not pick it up. credits so far, but nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all this money. <gasps> oh, yeah. Hang on a second, I forgot that there seems to not be a minimap anymore at this location, so I'm putting this away. Public computer, hi. Sorry! Charge him up! Oh. You do 
doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Hey, Jacob. How you doing? Who, who are you? Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! You stood there. Nice shot, Things sir. must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Just a few questions. <laughs> really? If we're under attack and I'd be like, yeah, just a few questions. Why are they attacking? I'm, I'm, I'm tired of taking orders. <laughs> Where are you looking, lady? His eyes are up here. <laughs> I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. Where's here? This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. What about my crew? Are there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low nice. on thermal clips. Sounds good. But I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. For two years now, Liara thinks I'm dead. Oh, man. To my power wheel, select pull. Hit him with a bionic power. Hold to X's power wheel. And then pull. And then. Have a nice trip! I don't understand. You're done! I don't. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Aim it at them. But how? Use and then it's running low on thermal clips. The red crosshair. That's it. Uh -huh. Falling back. Okay. Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? Uh, investigate. Shepard's injuries. He said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. You... Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. Cutting edge technology? What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details, you'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. I'm not gonna be surprised with some... PP? I hope. I mean, as long as Liara doesn't mind. Lama said, when you chose the power, the squad mates use it at the point you're aiming. Okay. Okay. Thank you for reposting. Like a pee-pee? <laughs> pee-pee surprise. Um, okay. Uh, attack on the station. You know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye. Then BAM! bam. Bunch of explosions. <laughs> like Next thing him. I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting. At us, I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Where are they now? Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. 
It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. Shit nuggets. I want to find them. They were my team. They knew I was alive. Some dangly bits. <laughs> Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Jacob, what's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, you. I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. Remember the double check at area for loot. It's really important in Mass Effect 2 and 3. Okay, I will do. Don't worry about the powers too much. As long as your squad has them, they will adequately use them. You'll be fine and better in difficulty. Okay. Yeah, I was I was just come like preparing to my, my my people will use that ability and I will just shoot <laughs> like before. Uh, Miranda. When I first woke up. Someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? It didn't sound good, there was no. some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. Okay. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we check. Just check. have look bored Anyone a bit, text by a bit. Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? N never mind. You need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Who's that? I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Okay, let's go. Wait, do I have to lead? Oh, I cannot access the map. Log update. The Lazarus project is about to enter the final phase. It's taken nearly two years, but we did it. Commander Shepard is alive. I'm alive! This is the most amazing medical achievement in recorded history. Maybe now Miranda will finally show some appreciation for everything I've done. And when you're dead, I will be still alive. Still alive. Still alive. Perfect soul, thank you very much for the resubscription for three months. How are you? Welcome in. Thank you for your support. Enjoy the chunk, please. Welcome back. I want to do some pew pew. Let's go, Jacob. They've seen us. They're out hurt. Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. Oh my god, I love this game already. That's so much fun already, guys. Come on, Sarah, thanks for the follow. Ah, Wilson, find us another route out of here. Oh god, they found me. Help. Wilson, where are you? Server room B. Hurry, they're out of control. Up those stairs, Shepard. Oh god, I'm hit. Oh no. Wilson! Coming for the Oh, damn. L not looking good, sir. Tip, with an import character, you come with extra squad points. You can spend them now. Ooh. 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 Uh, uh, way little stuff. Combat mastery. Your superior training improves your health, weapon damage, storm speed, and paragon renegade scores. Ooh, that is amazing. Disruptor ammo. The ammunition pulses... Uh, reach at time. Adrenaline rush. Boosts your combat awareness for a brief time. Now, like, combat mastery. That seems great. Like, it seems like a, a good bonus for, for the start. Shoot their legs? No! I'm a head shoot person. When I can and I know something has a head, I'm gonna shoot the head. Combat mastery is the top priority for soldier class. From there, you are just build whatever you want. Okay. What do you mean? 
cost three squad points? No! Shit nuggets. I thought I could get all fear, all four, you know. I don't have to use the last one, right? I can just use it later. Gets way more simplified. Combat mastery is the only passive bonus. All the others are your active powers. Okay. I'm gonna save the last one, or is it gone if I don't use it now? I say disruptor ammo. Is it is the is the squad point gone if I don't use it now? Squad points carry on for the next time you upgrade. Okay, good. Then I'm gonna keep it. Thank you. Thank you guys for your help. Journal. Okay. Oh man, and I cannot teabag. I'm so so mad. <laughs> Why would they want me so desperately? Hi, Buttery. Squad points carry on, okay. What if you don't use stacks up? Yes, Liz, no. What? All in due time. Shepard, down here! Hi. Bastards got me in the leg! Remember you, Wilson. <laughs> you were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. That's a me! <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the okay. wall. Okay. What was that sound? Hold Wilson's RB to back. access the power wheel. It's like Unity. There you go. Swish! And leg fixed. Easy peasy. Guess they Thanks, thought Shepherd. you were pretty cool. <laughs> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs. But whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security <laughs> mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Wow, Jacob. Are you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot! How do you explain that? I don't trust any of you yet. It doesn't matter. Hmm. You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe and then we'll sort out <laughs> whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Uh, forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. It's with your neck, There's no bro. way she survived. A Frox, bunch of mechs will drop welcome. Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. But she tried to help me? Either way, we can't help her. Hmm. Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... <laughs> we can overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttles. Hold the excess power wheel to use overload on the crates. Uh That's it. Let's get out of here. Oh, we couldn't walk over there? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Me wanda. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. What? Okay. I never heard of them. That sounds familiar. Why would Cerberus save me? I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Yeah. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious Why? too. But right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. 
Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. I promise, elusive man? Elusive man. Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda yeah, yeah I know, game over, I know. We literally just did lots of Cerberus stuff today. Uh, I'll never work for Cerberus. Fine, let's go. Uh... I don't care what they did or what you say. I am not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss. But after we've saved our butts, we're almost at the shuttle. Okay. How how about loot, sirs? How about loot? Credits, okay. Wait, how do I reload again? This way. Okay, got it. His real name is elusive. You've been spotted. Everything. When the hell does anyone explain everything in an RPG? Hmm. Okay, I'm just looking around for ammo, guys. I can't take more? Why? Oh, wow, that was cool. Pick-a-poo? Aha! Uh -huh. So let's spend a little time on the character creator. I wonder how long she will spend on the armor customization. <gasps> what? There's armor customization? Can I can I increase some the size of certain areas? I mean, looks mad juicy already. <laughs> Salvage recovered. Test subject has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures. Uh -huh. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus project will proceed as planned. I have a feeling they did not bring me back for the goodness of their heart, you know? What do they want to gain? Ferret, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Hey Autobot, you legend, how are you? Welcome in. Here's RB and MPA your powers. Dup, 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 dup. What? Let's just have to wait now, like modern FPS. Healing is automatic as long as you don't get it for X seconds. Aha, okay. Highlight individual notes to find matching symbols. Wait, what? Is that a mini game now? Oh, new mini game. Highlight individual notes to find matching symbols. When you found two matching symbols, select them to complete the circuit. Complete all circuits before the, you run out of time to buy by security. Uh. Okay. That was not too bad, I think. But does it open now or not? <laughs> oh, it's not a door. Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. You, you didn't hear or see anything. This never happened. Okay. Got the thing. Yeah, I got the thing, guys. But question is, where to, where to go now? Can I can I save? Okay, there you go. 
I hear big bada boom and I want to participate. I'm safe and got the credits, so yeah. We saw everything. No, constable! No. Come on, through here. We're almost at the. Miranda, but you she are. She reminds me of an actress. Dead? What the hell are you doing? What actress? Uh, I know her. My job. Wilson betrayed us all. She's a model after an actress. Oh, I, I know that woman. Hi, Kenobi. Azurai, Ziroka. Dame, hello. Bane, zombie. Oh, Van Buren, hi. Watch Chuck. Yvonne Strahovski. Yvonne Strahovski from the Spy series. She, she sure is a cutie. From Chuck. I don't know. Chuck. Hmm. That your idea of due process? Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. Wow, okay. Now you can't question him. You should have taken him alive, see what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You she really was a think Dexter! Wilson's capable of that? <gasps> Hannah! Hannah from Dexter! Yes, that's her! Not anymore. Yes! I was like, oh damn, I know that face, I know that face. Yes! She's Hannah from Dexter. Shit. Yeah, as I said, she was Dexter. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. Okay, what happens now? If you say so. What's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Hmm. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Well, uh... Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Handmaid's we'll Tale, leave during the attack. yes. Besides Great trying show. to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you when he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. <laughs> Other survivors? What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Wow. Liz finished Mass Effect 1? Yes, we just finished, I don't know, an hour ago or so, and we instantly hopped on Mass Effect 2. Uh, destination. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. If I don't come along? I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. Why? What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Imagine you learn that you you were dead and your body was completely like gone and 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 people just pieced you back together. <laughs> <laughs> Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been yeah. two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Two years. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? 
Two years and 12 days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Mm-hmm. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted, and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? That was painful. I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you if you let it. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? It was a hard choice. We were done here. It was that or die. I left a friend to die that day and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Ash radioactive Ash Williams. Ash is a ghoul now. She's a husk. Why didn't they ask who did you leave behind to test? I know, right? Room. I was wondering that as well. Uh, damn. That's Tunk. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Armor locker. Casual appearance. Damn, that's so cool. So wait, wait, could I could I have the perks of my armor but with the looks of my of my casual gear? Is that what it was? Now imagine those of us who waited years between Mass Effect 1 and 2 react to this game being brought back to life alongside Shepard. Mind blowing, pretty cool, very, very cool. I, I, I'm absolutely in love already. The only downside is that there's no tea bag option anymore. It's sad. You can customize color. Ooh, it gets cut. Oh, ah, oh, ah, aha, uh -huh. I see, okay, hello. Commander Shepard. Hi. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. Make choices. <laughs> you don't know me. No casuals where you are out of combat zone. Armor is mission clothing. Aha, so you can pick your outfit for when you are in casual and then you can pick your outfit for when you're in combat? You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? You know, my friends skip the pleasantries. You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Thanks Human for the follow. Welcome in. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth ate its sovereign. You've seen it yourself. Bilton, thank we you. Bested all of them. That's thank you so much for six intrusion. months, my friend. How are you? Coordinator, enjoy the emotes as well. Violton, thank you so much for six months, half a year of support. I hope you're doing great. Welcome in. Thank you so, so much. Enjoy the chonkies. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? 
We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave them. Hi, They're too busy Hello. building relations to put resources into verifying does, the Spile. Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Maybe I believe you. Where do we start? Maybe I will. Maybe, maybe. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. I'm supposed to trust them? Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but that he's always been cool. honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. Do I have a choice? Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? <laughs> you always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Boop. He just hang up on me. Rude. Level up. Hi, I'm ready. Welcome in. Nurse, what do you want to know? I'm live for five and a half hours. He wants a snooze, no, does he now? Train an entire army or rebuild a legend? <laughs> Hi, bearded warrior. Welcome in. How you doing? The elusive man, some call him Tim. Hmm, Tim. Good idea. Yeah, Tim. He 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 he. Okay. Journal updated. You escaped the server's medical facility. The elusive man is the next likely source of information. A ship is waiting for you in the hangar bay to take you to Freedom's Progress. Look for clues that might explain what happened to the missing colonists. Okay. So we don't have a mini map in this in this part now. So you guys tell me I can change my colors. <gasps> this is in combat now, right? I like this. Chest. Shoulders, arms, legs, okay. Material. Ooh. I like the matte look. Tint. I can give it color. Ah, oh, so cool. Do we want a green cho be a green chonky like this? Less and armor parts give different bonuses. 
Wait, tent. Ooh. Wow, that is so cool. Shit, Nim, hi, thank you very much for the six months. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome in. Wait for customization. Mass Effect 3. Oh, you guys get me so hyped. Pattern. Oh, you can do patterns as well? Oh, just these. Okay. This is pretty nice. Pretty cool. I can change that any time, right? Pattern color. Oh, ooh. That looks cool. I like this. I think that looks pretty cool. Just the reason I found this and I'm very t thankful. Really? How did that happen? The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. We'll see. Just remember who's in charge. Oh, I thought... Is she always going to put on the helmet when I am um, entering combat anyways? Or going on a mission? Because... I did not mean to put the head on for conversations. <laughs> Pretty Shepard. On missions. Okay. Just remember who's in charge. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. Thanks for resurrecting me. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. We don't have to be enemies. We have to work we together here. Romans. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the <laughs> utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Wow. Okay, thanks. Current mission. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your so, character thanks for the follow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. Mm -hmm. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Ooh, bitchy vibes. What's your train? Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. <gasps> wow, she's really, she's really nasty. Okay, goodbye. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it, or we can do it. So... I want to have this helmet. This one. This one might be better if I want to see a bit of my face, right? But I... I don't know... I don't know what to do. Like, I, I, want, I want to have the helmet when I'm in combat, but I don't want to have it when I'm in... when I'm talking. Click on type. 
There is no type. I cannot pick type. Is there's an option to turn it off in conversations? Where? Calibration. Garrus <laughs> is you. Where? Wait, in casual outfit? Liz? Oh, I like this! With a fucking hoodie! That's great! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> So, wait, uh, Venom, thanks for the follow. Miranda is nasty. I don't know what is new snoo. Hmm. Each armor piece also provides a bonus. It says in the description, at the moment you only have these parts, but as you play, you got buy more. Yes, these helmets stay in missions. There are other headpieces that look better. But I want to I wanna know how to have, like, no helm in the com like... When I'm talking to somebody, I would would like to have no helmet on and if i talk to somebody uh, if i'm if i'm fighting i would like to have the helmet on you know is there a setting for this plot <laughs> david <laughs> there's an option you have to choose if you want a helmet okay then we're gonna go with helmet we take this one so we can see at least a little bit of the face that i put so much effort into I don't think you have the option Mass Effect 2, only Mass Effect 3. There will be settings and squad option, but I'm not sure. Okay. Thank you, guys. Mission complete! Oh! Import bonuses. Credits? O okay, exit. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. Uh, Slody, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Liz, did you spend Jacob Miranda's points? Uh, Ken, hi, uh, I, I have auto skill on for squad mates. That screen reminds me of re rank screens, lol. Miss the SABC ranks now? I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, oh, Resident Evil rank. Uh huh. Oh, gosh. Good old Resident Evil. Ah, uh, you beat Mass Effect already with all side quests? Uh, there were, like, little things left, like, um, completionist stuff, find the minerals, find the gases, stuff like that. But all the other side quests that I found, I did. Hi, Exory Tilla, welcome in. And Stone Cold, hi. Uh, tab, maybe in there. I tried, I tried in the, in the options and gameplay tab, but thank you very much, Stone, for, for the, uh, advice. Tip, headshots are a thing if you can lend them. I just assumed it was it was already in the first in the first game, right? Someone could still be alive. We're here to search. Do whatever it takes. Someone could still be alive. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Is that the new Mako? Ooh. Is 
The Chivo? What is that? Okay, guys. There's also limb damage for most enemies. Yeah, I prefer head damage. Crack a joke. People always ask me how good it is to be Swiss. Well, the flag's a big plus. <laughs> always, always. Everybody makes joke about this. <laughs> Everybody. It was a, a thing. It was added in Legendary for Mass Effect 1. The headshots. The make was history. What? Chivo, short term for achievement. I got the achievement for doing what? I just wore most reveal headgear item after I got it. Guys, I will take a short break to refill my water because it's almost gone. Um, I'm having a blast. We're gonna play a little bit longer, although it's already pretty late. Uh, but I'm totally hooked and I want to play more. Um, I'll be right back. I hope you guys enjoy the clips that I'm playing and I see you afterwards, okay? Stay tuned. the entire thing again the entire chase no we are women here i shout we are women i have no doubt we are women we are free we are shut women. the fuck up thank you oh my n-word huh? what's up homie huh? oh. <laughs> <laughs> press e to do yoga let's go okay so guys we do we do yoga now to chill So peaceful, much relaxed. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Come on, Michael. Bend the knee. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you do this, you do this. So graceful. <laughs> so graceful. This ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. I'm okay with buying the protein shakes. I promise. It's fine. And how the fuck do you get up here? He's gonna fall. He's gonna fall again. There's more or less besides that. What do you mean? Oh! now hey what's up with you are you high maybe you liking that hey what's up with you hey what it do Jesus. look the fuck out lady come on I just want to just want to talk to you hey, dude, what's up? I like your cowboy head hey what's going on with you really great you really I'm have to like get another line Franklin what about with you? It's like, it's not doing it. No! I'm just waiting for the chance to kick these two guys so hard in the ass that they can gnaw on my toenail. That's, that's, that's what I want to do. Like, these two guys. Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting! Is that Jimmy with a bong? It is Jimmy with a bong, right? Yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off! <laughs> 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 I, I thought I was on that guy! 
so you sit on his face. It was teabagging it's called teabagging. You really <laughs> fucked him up good though, huh? Listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all so gonna good. be okay. Stay put. Oh, okay, now I like the sun. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen things. I don't know if I will ever recover from this. Two hundred million dollars or thereabouts. Give me a second. Yep, that sounds about right. Collection team has wait, the cargo. Wait, wait, Trevor can do math? He does meth and math? Wow, I'm surprised. Hey, old homies! Like the most far out thing ever. Fucking oh, God. shit! <laughs> no! Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Oh! I'm sorry, Franklin, but hey, your skin recovered beautifully. Amazing! I found it! Oh shit, I'm drowning, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. God damn it! I wish he could just like turn around, but he's... Just go back! Can't you just go backwards? <laughs> I hate the swimming. I hate the swimming! He's just gonna just turn around, I don't get it! Hey guys, I'm back. I'm sorry. I decided I'm gonna make another coffee because I'm I'm thirsty. I'm back. Hello, hello. That was the moment Liz lost her innocence. Listen. I never lost my innocence. I've always been super innocent and pure, like an angel, and I've never ever done anything kinky or snoo snoo related. Or no, I'm completely, absolutely, utterly innocent. There you go. Proof, proof, proof. That was proof. There you go. Uh, where was I? Hi. We're on a planet and we're supposed to shoot things, right? I don't know if it's just my imagination, but I feel like this game looks way better than the first one already. Liz, one advice for Mass Effect 2, do not forget to feed the fish. Wait, you can feed fish? What? <laughs> Wait, what fish? Hmm, I better- I better don't ask anything for- oh shit, this is dark and creepy. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Yeah. Too soon? Spoiler! There's fishies? Is that lizards? I need a Resident Evil quick turn, you know, like a... Oh! <laughs> I'm telling you to be nice to me, okay? If I say something, you don't be so bitchin'. <laughs> no better graphics. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Only fish arts, as far as I know, okay. Have been in here? Miranda will grow on you, Liz. Yeah, I have a feeling she's gonna be bitchy in the beginning and then she's gonna be a sweetheart. I might even want to romance her. I have to also say, Jacob is fine. Wait, he can- he can teabag, but I can't? Taking my teabag ability from me. My favorite, my absolute favorite, teabagging is essential to show your dominance. And the game is taking that from me. And and he gets to teabag? Oh, this is so not fair. I don't know if I can play this game, guys. <laughs> Oh, hi, hi. Oh, shit. Uh, security systems were disabled at the end of the call. Good morning. Hostile force using non standard animation. I got it. Enemies! Enemies! 
No shit, Shirley. Shoot them before they get out of here. Those mechs shouldn't have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on sight. We're not alone here. What just happened? On the plus side, that means you can make other people teabag. Moving to point. And now teabag. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Bend the knee. <laughs> I am Daenerys and I tell you to bend the knee. Here's your ammo powers. I never used them really. The only thing that I did was unity. <laughs> Sounds like there's a, a whale somewhere in the distance. Wait, do I have equipment? I do not have equipment. Oof. Can I pick things? The sound. Razak, um, Renomitsu, thank you very much for the follows, guys. Welcome. A wall safe. Ooh, do we do the mini game again? We do the mini game again? Okay. Just aim at a squat mate's head to make them teabag. Ah, okay, I see. So if I if I be like, moving, and then I do, that's five head. That's so smart. That's nice. Thanks. I see you, Shepard. Here goes. Here goes what? Oh no! No, don't do this game. My doggo was called Fenris. Also, where's. Understood! Got it! Where's the other guy? <laughs> Oops, I left him behind. Hi Asps and welcome. At least you can add buff to your guns to deal more damage to bots is the first one from the left. What? What? What do you mean? Crystal Dynamics AA dogs. So you can have Miranda V back on your behalf. And I can watch it from behind. That's pretty nice. Right. Got it. Right there. Hell yeah, and she's even doing high heels. Okay. You bet. Following. Follow me. Stop right there. Praza, you said you'd let me handle Tali. this. Tali! Wait. Shepard? Tali? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepard? Is that... You're alive? I'll prove it's really me. Don't point those guns at me. It me! Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Praza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. Maybe you should ask. On your power wheel list. Oh, okay. Liz, there's a mod to add crouching going by the pigs. It's mainly used to check out booty. Sounds about right for me. I'm not working for them. I did it to help humanity. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me, it was money well spent. 
Perhaps we can work together. That's my girl. We're here looking for a young quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Really? No thoughts had... No thoughts had empty or only Tali. <laughs> why did Victor, Vitor come here? Have you found him? You think he's alive? He just... Why would I say, why did Vitor come here? When she just said he came here for, for pilgrimage. Maybe for specifics? Hmm. Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human Tarin, colony? Tarin, thanks for the follow. Sausage Quarians giraffe as well, thank you. where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. Mm -hmm. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his soot CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. Hi, Michael. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse hey, on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. This ammo is, is power in Mass Effect 2. It stays on when you activate it. You have to activate it for each weapon individually. This also means you can have one ammo type on one weapon and another ammo type on another weapon. They, rem they remember on which one you activated them. Soldier is the class that gets the most ammo type sk skills, okay? Okay, we'll check it out in the next chance, okay? We need to team up. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head you're to the telling, baby. to the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Why do you hate Cerberus? The people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. Oof. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Make sure to keep in radio contact. I have we'll a deal. rifle? No, Good luck, Shepard. Not yet. Whatever happens. It's good to have you back. I... Ah, oh, now I have the guns. Okay, before I just had... Before I had just had the grenade launcher and the pistol, but now I have my sniper rifle. Let's go. Okay, so I have this. So, how do I do that with the ammo, guys? Are we the baddies? No. Are you playing soldier? Yes. Tali, happy to see you, chat. Yeah. Oh, what? Is this scanning me? Just activate it. I don't- I don't know where and what. Activate what? This is stuff for them, right? So... Just this one. You just- you just select the disruptor ammo power. Aha, this one. And now it's gonna stay activated? For one shot or for until I deactivate it? Lower half is Shepherd's skill. Yeah, yeah, I know, but only for this weapon until you deact. Okay. Be careful, Shepherd. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care. Thank you guys for your tips and helps and, and answers. And I know I'm, I've been a bad girl. I should have activated. My compromise. The... Uh, Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Get through my shield! I prefer long distance. Use overload on him. On whom? Oh shit. Use overload. 
reload on. Uh, how does it work again? Uh, pull overload. What landed? Nice. <clears throat> nice. There we go. Enemy down. Got him. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, you know. It is how it is now. Quick tip, hold the X button to switch your last weapon. Uh-huh, okay. I, I like I like the weapon wheel, it's, it's fine. I, I'm very used to that now. So it's okay, but thank you very much for the tip. Love Tali's updated armor in this one. Yeah, it looks cool. Is it just me or anybody else think that sounds like a whale? You know? Want to get to Vito first? Get your squad into cover, and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Send your squad members. What? What? Oh, I have to send them there. Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. Wait, and I'm supposed to go here? Really? Are you kidding me? Um... Uh-oh. Run, Tally, run! Ah! Oh, sh... Ah! Homing really shit. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Mm-hmm. Overload will take out their shields. Wait, should I blow up this thing? He has three health bars. He has a shield and the and armor and. But my character won't run. There you go. Uh -huh. Watch out! Come on, heal, heal, heal. Oh, I have no ammo anymore. Oh shit, nuggets. Wait, did he? Did he die? Is he gone? <laughs> did you kill them without me now? Oh man. Big bada boom. Oh shit! I just. Ugh. I just wanted to take cover real quick. Okay, well, good job, guys. 
This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded, Shepard. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Okay, let's go. Render stealing the kill. <clears throat> as long as I get the XP, it's fine. Moving to point. Yeah, yeah, move it. Right there. You're not there. I want you to teabag. Let's go. <laughs> We can use this. Ah, oh, you can scan the enemies and then you get information about them. Oh, that's nice. Amend. Thank you very much, Eric as well, Logan, Brickus. Thank you very much for the follows, guys. Welcome to the lizards. Nice to have you. Ammo found. Nice. List tip during cutscenes, there are extra action options in Mass Effect 2. Keep controller in hands. Oh, okay, cool. So do they have like stuff like um quick time events? I like that. Like Resident Evil 4, for example. Ooh. Wait, I'm confused. Where? I'm stuck on Tali. <laughs> Give me the map kit. Up here, probably. Oh man, I'm so so silly. I'm sorry. Let's go. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Blackrock. No, no. Vitor? Thank you very much for the follows. No veto. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. You're safe now. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will To perform protect. a Paragon action Swarms when shown coming. on screen. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. LT. No escape. No hope. I'm a Jedi. Hello. Human, where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms. They took everyone. We weren't here. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see, but I see everything. Uh oh. Looks like security footage. <laughs> must have pasted it together manually. What Oof. the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. What's a collector? Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe Quali. the elusive can figure it out. Hi! Welcome in, Raiders! Hi, Sherlock. Hi, Quali. Hey, Jaru. Welcome in, everybody. All right, listen, losers, I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, David, thank you so much for bringing your community over before. Thank you very, very much. Have a good night. Sleep well. And thank you so, so much. Welcome in, Quali. Arr! <laughs> Hi, Content Pega. Welcome in, guys. Hi Liz, I'm back. <laughs> Hi Odyssey, welcome. Hi guys, I hope you had a great time. What did you What did you play? Did you play more uh, Gwent, Rogue, Mage today? I had you start a Mass Effect 2, but it looks exactly like... No, it does not. My Shepard looks mighty fine compared to the first one. The first one looked like resting bitch face syndrome uh, with paired with constant surprise. And she's just... 
she has the bedroom look the entire time. She's like, <laughs> I can do that. Um, but cats, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Gwent and some community games. Nice, guys. Please go check out Quality TV. Awesome streamer playing um, Gwent Rogue Mage at the moment and the world. Uh, no, no, the, the the Outer Worlds and lots of strategy games and stuff. So. Yes, yes, big recommend. Currently in a dangerous thunderstorm with 70... Ooh, oh, Shaka, watch out for yourself. So yeah, we started Mass Effect 2. We finished the first one. Lots, you can remove the helmet next time so we can see her in all her glory. Yeah, we can, we can try. Uh, swarms. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. Oof. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Um, how was Mass Effect 1? Are you happy about finishing it? Well, I, I, I'm, I, I, I like, I love the game. It was great. I really had lots of fun. It was a, it was a really good game. I actually cried at the end when I thought my shepherd died, but she survived. But man, was I sad. I was so sad. <laughs> Instant tears rolling down my face, like. <laughs> Looks mighty fine, yet I find myself drooling at a certain NPC, um, Miranda. Quali- Miranda, the one that just talked. If you look at her face, she is- she's Hannah from Dexter, if you remember her. Or the- the lady from- from Handmaid's Tale. You have to look her in her face and then have that in mind when you- when you- when you look at her. Cody, thank you very much for the follow, welcome. What about the Snoo Snoo? It eventually came. I was so happy. Finally, Liara and I had some snoo snoo. It was great. Good stuff. Glad no one spoiled that list. Chat is awesome. <laughs> I I saw some people were like uh, constantly telling chat to to shush. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. What a waste of time. <laughs> Thank you, Veter. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Hey, Lots Salt, of thanks readings. for the look. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. Uh-oh. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he Hi, and Mac, his hello. men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. How are you doing, Mac? How's stream going? Stream's going good. I have lots of fun. We started Mass Effect 2 today. Dark energy is definitely not electromagnetic. Sign zero. Vitor goes with Tali. Vitor has to come with us. You should join us, Tali. Oh, I feel like I have to make a decision. I want I want Vitor to go with Tali, but I also want to have Tali. Yeah, she's also the face, Actimus. Hey, way to bed, welcome. Hey, Shaleo. You should join us or Vitor goes with Tali. Th this is definitely not an option for me. This, this is fine. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> Works the same as Mass Effect left side extended. Hmm, okay. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together just like old times. I want to, but I can't. 
I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. Wow. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. What's the mission? Maybe we can help. That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it. But it's in Geth space. That should tell you how important it is. Then Vitro goes for Tali. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tali will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Hey, Akansas, welcome. One of my Miranda's close ups were censored. <laughs> Maybe. Sometimes the time window for those Shepherd, quick time events is short. On They're optional, but don't let you guard down. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch. Did I miss one, history. Space? You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Did I miss one of those quick time things? Um. Nope. Okay. I don't know. I I'm not sure if I um if if it's easy to see. But oftentimes during cutscenes, I'm usually reading a bit of chat. So uh, okay, I will try to try to don't to not. Haven't missed any quick time events yet. Smoking so far in the future. Mm -hmm. How do you like the change from SV1 to this? Uh, like the pace is totally different. The first one was a super slow introduction. This one is like bam, 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 bam. But I think if you play them in one go, it's actually a pretty nice flow because the first one ended quite action heavy, and now this one is like keeps up the, with the pace. So far, it's really good. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? <laughs> no. Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Uh, Cut Moose, thank you very much for the follow. I love that Martin Sheen is in this. Really? But it's not him, right? Nah, nah. Two minutes event on the corners and do a bit of sound, but you definitely miss some if you like to reach out during cinematics. Yeah, I will try to focus. I mean, if it's in the lower left corner, then it's right next to my chat because I have here's the game and there are you guys right under the webcam. So hmm. this is Martin Sheet, really? Huh? Okay, he looks different than I remember. This guy reminds me of G Man from Half Life. You're talking to Martin Sheen. That's Sheen, yes. Okay. Omega Four. Why relay. is the Omega Four relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing Vince, them to Vince, thank passage. you so much. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Hmm. Vince Tyson, thank you so much for the first time sub with Prime. Enjoy the emotes that I made. Welcome to the Chonkies. Ah, uh, only his voice. Yeah, his real name is Raymond Estevez. His face, but it's okay, good, because I was like, what? <laughs> you look so different. When you are at the dialogue wheel, you you are safe from any of those. Okay, good. So this is still the best moment to talk to you guys. Okay. Cheru, thank you. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Did I miss a massive donation? Wait, did I did I miss a donation? Guys, did I miss a donation before? We had Otarik and we had Sugar Bear and now you? I'm probably forgetting about somebody. Just look around. Hi, Dirty. I'm, I'm good. How are you? 
Anna donated 24 and said nothing. When was that? Was that was I on a break? I didn't even see that. I'm so sorry. Anonymous again, the legend. 2452. Thank you so much, guys. That means we have Do we have do we have the four songs now? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Guys, we're gonna I'm gonna sing four songs at the end of the stream. Thank you so so much for everybody's support. You're amazing. Thank you, Jero, for the last one buck <laughs> I was missing. Uh, five, five songs, you're right, Pega. You're right, you're right. You're right, five songs, Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, interest in humans. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the collectors getting from these deals? The collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Yeah, Frank Hart. Generally, they seek out hey, species Dragoon, with rare follow. genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these hey, specimens. Aaron. And then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before. And the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. What aren't you telling me? The threat is real enough. Yeah, what what aren't you telling me? Effed up. I also did 1.27, thought it bucked out. So 2.27. It added a total, but as he did not send it to chat. Weird. I also feel like the alerts sometimes are not working today, so there might be something off. You're holding something back. Hi, Twisted. How do you Hello. know the Reapers are involved? <laughs> the patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I had a good team. I Keep want them list. back. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Tichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Well, Tari, I just met- What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. And my baby, Liara. Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Never mind. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm a specter. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the council to help us out. Well, am I? If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. I'm sorry. I'm Good. sorry. Yeah. Two things Ciao. before Hi. you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Set an order? I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. <laughs> what you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. More All right. What's it's the other time? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Joker. Someone you can trust. Joker. <gasps> he can walk? Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. Yes! I saw you get space. Hi, Joker. Got lucky. A lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It makes me happy. It all fell apart without you, Commander. 
Everything you stirred up, the council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Severus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. <laughs> Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. What? They only told me last night. <gasps> Normandy? The Normandy. Anymore. I guess we'll have to give her a name. And seven? Right? <laughs> I always get pee pee in my eyes when I see the ship. Ah, Normandy, that it says. Okay, okay, I'm happy. Let's repost. Tip regardless uh, what anyone from your squad tells you or urges you, you always have the last call. You are the commander. Okay. Now with boogie stuff, the bad... Wait, what? Did we win one of the best music? That was Goosebumps. Yeah, that was Goosebumps music right there. Bigger is better. <laughs> the mission summary, by the way, is written by Elusive Man. Nice little detail. Collectors confirmed a source of attacks on Freedom's progress. Quarian survivor Vitor returned with Tali Zora of the, to the migrant fleet. We'll examine his Omnitool data for anything useful. Okay. Okay, dokey. Can you please not break this one, please? What? Um... Uh, okay, she walks. <laughs> they should have adjusted the walk. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> She's walking like a dude with like grande cojones <laughs> in her mini black dress, you know? That's, that's, not, that's not matching up, mate. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, uh, Commander. Kind of waddle, 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 waddle. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, a Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Good point. This is my ship. Yeah, good point. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Hi, Edie. Joker won't like this. This could come in handy. AIs are dangerous. Joker won't like Allsmen this. Allsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. <laughs> I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Hmm. I feel like the voice acting uh, had a little level up. Like, um, Shepard was usually pretty, like, emotionless, I felt like, but they she added a little bit of flair into it here and there, like, especially Joker. <laughs> Honestly, N7, hoodie always, all the way. Yeah, I, I, th I think I prefer that as well. Anyone else I should meet? I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete. 
Commander. Booty cam? When you're ready to go, booty just pick cam. a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Okay, sir. I can never imagine Shepard wearing this dress. Yeah, it looks weird. Use the galaxy map to pick up new pick new destinations. Private terminal. Use your private terminal to get status updates on your squad. Okie dokie. Armory. Select weapons for your squad from the armory. We'll have to buy them this time. Combat information center. Use the elevator to access the Normandy's other decks. Okay. So the ship got an update, right? It's actually pretty pretty smart. Go to your personal cabin to customize your appearance. Ooh! Tech lab. Acquire the professor to research upgrades for his squad's equipment. Like, they wanted, they probably wanted to have improvements on the Normandy, and that's why they blew it up in the beginning, right? In the, in the beginning of the game. Yeah, where can I change my outfit again? Guys, where can I do that? Because I, ca I cannot run around with this dress. It's not okay. This is not okay. This is not fitting to her. Captain's cabin, elevator? Okay. Let's go. Captain Quarter, take the elevator. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you, Nathan. Liz, you can change outfits in Captain Quarters. Okay, thank you guys. Danke schön, darling, danke schön. Thank you for all the tips and stuff. <gasps> oh my god, I have a little picture of, of Liara on my desk. That is so sweet. Medal of Honor. Yeah! Kill 1,000 enemies in Mass Effect 1, 2, or 3. Kill 2,000. Kill 100 enemies with melee attacks. Ooh. Save humanity throughout the galaxy from certain annihilation. <laughs> Save your crew from an overwhelming attack. Return to active duty. Ah, I still have some quests, uh, some achievements open. I think I understand the fishy thing now. I have a feeling I will get fish and I will put them in here and I shall not forget to feed them. Right? Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is also pretty cool, but this looks like th this is what Liara wore uh, casually, but just in green. This looks. This gives me, for some reason, this gives me Tomb Raider vibes. Ah, this looks like politician. Blech. This looks like space engineer. I don't know. We, we take the super c cool and casual. Let's go. I love hoodies. One of my favorite parts about about fall season, winter season, wearing hoodies all the time. Wait, you can listen to music here? Bam! I was just playing in my cabin? Okay. Hmm. Nyx, thank you very much. God Warden as well. Impatient Moose, thank you very much for the follows, guys. Sugar Bear. <laughs> Um, Combat Information Center, Crew Quarters, Engineering. Let's go to the bottom. When the savior of the owners is a girl in a hoodie. Wait, don't, don't you like girls in hoodies? Excuse me? Where the frick frick am I? Why is the Normandy so big all of a sudden? <laughs> I don't remember it being that big. That's what she said. Engineer Daniels. You came all the way down here to see us? Hi. You're speaking to our commanding officer. Shape up. <laughs> Hello. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? I'm a Scotsman, mate. 
Are you set up okay down here? <laughs> we can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the Hi, FBA Kate, how are you? Are you? Kenneth, you're complaining. Hello. What's the issue? What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, <laughs> if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Are they a couple? They give me couple vibes. I love Scottish accents. So great. I could I I, I actually didn't even pay attention to what you said. I was just like, oh, give me more of that Scottish vibe. Come on, give it to me, baby. Let's go. Uh, why don't you have them? Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. <laughs> we could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Oh, God, I love it. This, you can ask them. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Was Alliance serving OP. on the SSV Perugia. <laughs> she flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. I I really love accents. I also like um, like Australian accents. I, I like accents. That's just just how it is. I'm interested in languages. Need anything? Are you set up okay down here? Outside of those T6 FBA couplings we mentioned, we are doing fine. I bet mm -hmm. you could find them in the Omega markets if you wanted to help us out. Anything else? Uh, Ken joining Cerberus? How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Here I am on the road again. Actually, I forgot that I have this game on my PlayStation 5. Ooh, Godless Day, let's go. As a Scotsman myself, I approve of him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, Gabby joining? So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love <laughs> engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Felix and Cerberus? What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. <laughs> nice! In the daddy bags! <laughs> Carry on. Will do, yes. Commander. No, this is German. What? Aren't you Australian? Uh, me? No. I, I'm German. I'm from the Danish border of Northern Germany. And I live in Switzerland. Partners in crime? Yeah, a couple. <laughs> Partners I'm in bed. I'm amazed came down to see us. I told you she would. Aww, it's so cute that they have little extra dialogue when you, when you f go for your way. Pretty cool. It's ball back, thanks God. <laughs> I'm getting so lost in this ship, I can already tell. I'd be like, help step chat up stuck all the time. Oh, fuck, this is a maze. What? Where where am I even? Like why am I here? <laughs> uh, hey Logan. We have no choice. Good team together, feels like. Together! I thought you were Egyptian. Walks like an Egyptian. Walks like an Egyptian. Okay, so I walk this way. What's here? Access to this room is currently restricted. What? I'm the co fucking commander. What the hell? Okay, I learned stuff. Cool. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is Big. more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds. Mm hmm. Crack a joke by Robsky. Oh my god. I'm gonna read it before I read it out loud. <laughs> oh 
man. Okay, Robski says, what's the hardest part of treating a Turian who took a rocket to his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> wow. Access to this room is nasty, Robski. Nasty. What? No trust? So rude. <laughs> I trust. I do trust. I do trust in your, in your, in your taste and jokes. And I, I know, I know your type of jokes. Okay, I'm lost. Wait, this is, this is the elevator. There we go. Okay, let's go one step higher. Aha! Okay, okay, okay. Is that a surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You Ooh. did humanity proud that day. That As me. Sergeant Rupert I think. Gardner here. How can I be of service? Need anything? Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. <laughs> Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. I the crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. There are bigger issues. How can what I help? What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Give me the list. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. Hmm, well, wrong HVAC, there. plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. I love how he had the list ready. Like, as if he was expecting somebody to come in to this damsel in distress, wanting desperately to go shopping. And in case somebody came along, he already had the list prepared. Love it. Uh, please, Scotty and the Enterprise can perform miracles with less. <laughs> Time for nom noms and your noms. Uh, um, thoughts on Cerberus. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. <laughs> Bye. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. This is the Odina guy. What? Before she took an hour to the knee. <laughs> oh. Miranda's office. I'm gonna talk to you later. If I'm need for some bitchin', you know. Hey, wait, is that... Is that Chakwas? Wait, what? No, what? Oh, <gasps> Dr. Chakwas! Hi! Commander Shepard. I the watched hell? the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Hi, did she get a facelift or something? She looks younger than before. Why are you here? Wow, what a nice welcome. But puckers. Liz, you will get a chuckle if you ask him about responsibilities and then ask about Coke Janitor. Really? Okay. Why are you here? I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Need anything? Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing Bigger. are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll get you another. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. 
Doctor, you've been with the Alliance oh, for mommy. years. Mommy! <laughs> Dr. Chocolates. <laughs> After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Uh... You're not the Cerberus type, Dr. Snoo Snoo. I don't work for Cerberus. Right, I work Fuller? for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. I also think that my my second take on Commander Shepard is way better than the first one. Lots of survival. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Is she romanceable? I don't know, Carlo. Is she? I mean, she has gray hair, but she looks fine in the second game. No? Hmm. Okay. No mummies. Okay. I'll see no, you later, No mill for us, I Come see. <laughs> No, no mama chocolate for us. Access to the AI core is restricted. Uh, she's a gilf, really? I wanted to be nice and give her the benefit of the doubt that she's not that old, you know? How can I help you, Commander? What do you do here on the North? What Dakota? don't I do? Most HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. So, the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands. Most of the time. <laughs> this ain't what? no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. Ew. And I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> no, what really? <laughs> okay, um, goodbye. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. <laughs> Oh, Trevor's Trevor, Trevor, is that you? Oh boy. <laughs> the gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. What the fuck? I'm the fucking commander. Let me go. Ah. Okay, I cannot talk to the Hufflepuffs here, I see. Okay, let's go. Um, do we have stairs up still? Wait, women's bathroom? The poor Hufflepuffs, I'm just making a joke. Shepard, the women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. This is not a real man's bathroom. There's no pissoir, what the fuck? Come on. We all know how it works. I like the little detail. Uh, this is for men. Professor, uh, Commander Shepard. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Wow, well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's Thank you, Shaka. She have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. I like the. There's lots of um. Like way Access more depth. To life support is restricted. The port observation deck is closed until needed. Mm. There's there's way more stuff going on in this. So much time has passed and we still have gender restrooms. I mean Hey, Joker. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Poor Edie. 
The ship is just a copy. We can trust them for now. This is too good to be true. This just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Right, all the awesome trails. She and Kulia Hayek is awesome. <laughs> Hi, Adrian. Welcome in. Zorka has a lot more to say than the first game. Talking often is fun. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. <laughs> You'll see. Even Cut if the AI the is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. <laughs> yeah, you're such a downer. <laughs> Commander. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. A people person. Oh, okay. What do you think about the people we're picking up? I know. Well, Hello. about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. <laughs> what happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. The rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. Mm. We were your team, Commander. With Cynical. Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. Cynical, thank you so much for the first time sub. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the Chonkies. I hope you enjoy the emotes that I made. Welcome in. Is that Seth Green? Oh, there's Seth Green. Okay. It's a problem with side NPC talks. At least for me, always to stop and listen. The dialogues. Mass Effect 2 is the best Mass Effect, in my opinion. It's not even close, at least story-wise. Um... I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output, and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. <laughs> uh, services agrees. It's got a mute. Use it. It does? I mean, he has to fly. I w <laughs> Thank you so much for the first time, Sub Syndica. I really appreciate that. Should we gotta get the band back together? Yeah, so Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 are all one big game, and I will not be told otherwise. <laughs> Leave Edie alone. Oh. I like the banter between them, so. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. it has gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. <laughs> That's it for now. See if you, you want Commander. to speak specifically to Edie, her main dialogue is here next to Joker, okay? Yes, Shepard. Let's talk about you, baby. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Okay. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is I much faster sweets. than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Hi, Tufless. Yeah, guys, please, um, 
this is my first time playing Mass Effect ever. Um, and I, I would really appreciate if you wouldn't mention anything that happens in the future of Mass Effect 2 or 3 or Andromeda. We just finished Mass Effect 1, we can talk all about that if you want. But please, no spoilers, I want completely, like, blind, I don't, I don't want to know anything, okay? Like, you don't have to be quiet, Nick, you don't have to be quiet, but no, no mention of anything that happens here in the, in the lore, okay? Um, <clears throat> it's impressive. Sounds incredibly useful. Why Quite isn't there someone like the that on every warship? An organic stretch. Okay, let's go. Everybody stretch. Changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization. Just putting it out there. And Terminal never happened. Well, I I am. Um, I will pick up a poll for you guys to vote if you guys want me to play Andro uh, play Mass Effect Andromeda when we finished or when we're in Mass Effect 3 I will I will ask on Discord and on here. <laughs> he says hydrate as well. Hydrate skull. Okay, uh what monitoring devices? The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? Oof. He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. It's funny how Edie suddenly has like a red thing going on on her when she's talking right now. Hmm. She maybe is that showing emotions, those colors? We're not discussing Andromeda again. We just had an hour or so today when we started the stream. Hi, Timothy. Uh, another topic. Let's discuss something else. Ready. Let's talk about you. Didn't we, didn't we start this about... I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Oh. Let's discuss something else. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Hmm. Uh, the red signifies the restriction. Aha, okay. Resources? What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Uh-huh, okay. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Okay. Th Each thank you. operates in isolation. Thank you, Corey. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. The Goodbye. <laughs> That's all for now. Locking you out, Shepard. Thank you for all the information, Edie. It was nice talking to you. So is there anybody else I should be talking to right now, guys? This is it. Now the next thing I gotta do is go to the map and try decide where we want to go. Miranda and Jacob. Ah, yeah. Uh, can I see the map? Oh wow, this looks different. Um, I guess I have to take the elevator, huh? What? Ooh. Ooh. Hello? What's huh. this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. 
Using OmniTool, computer-aided design and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. Hmm, huh, okay. Interesting. Ooh, look at all the toys. Nice. Miranda's the best jets on the ship. Really? Hi, Jacob. Commander. Hi. There hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. It's a risky assignment. Have you checked the medical bay? Yes, I did. Hi, Miranda. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Yeah, Miranda. Maybe. As but long first as the him? elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Yeah, his or mouth is weird. tried and executed. Can't count on I people can thinking about it as hard Pay as I bet. have. Glad to have you aboard. Appreciate your honesty. Do your job, nothing more. <laughs> nice shirt choice, Liz. Thank you. It's actually Qualys. I, I stole it, kind of. He wanted to throw it away. Looks so much like Kanye West. Oh my god, I was thinking that as well, Jeru. He lo does look like Kanye West, but a little bit more nice, I you know? I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. But weird mouth Likewise, animation. Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Cheers. Okay, Miranda. Where art thou? Huh. This is restricted. Uh, wasn't like this in the normal version, right? I remember that. I have no idea. Jacob is like one of the first me Mass Effect dudes that I really don't like. Really? Why Commander, don't you like you've him? Received a new message at your private terminal. Hi. I'm Norman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must you say, are cute. it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. My pleasure is all mine. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. No. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, I would I would totally watch somebody play uh, Renegade. <laughs> I would totally watch that and have a good time, but I would probably feel bad if I would play Renegade. Okay, Kelly. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anything else? I feel like the um, the choices are closer to what they actually say now in this game. Maybe this will change later, but um, yeah. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have Please time for know. you, Commander. Uh, Kumi, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. What do you do? What are your responsibilities? She's I'll your keep secretary. I'll you any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Is that all? Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Your counselor. Ooh. You make sure the crew's mental She's a shrink. health is sound. Yes, I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. It's good you're here. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Yeah, not the bad. Our methods can be harsh. A bit, yeah. But Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus' ideals. Okay, calm down, kiddo. You're very loving. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? 
Are you happy here? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Ugh, under pressure. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Pressures for tires, babe. <laughs> yeah, I, ch I changed my um, my character slightly. Uh, there's a mod for Kelly's hair. Funny enough, Liz being evil would be interesting to watch. I guess. Hey, <laughs> Shoy. I was told that Renegade is not necessarily evil. It's just. More swear words. It's too big for a fatal confirmed. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, we won't. Don't worry. We'll defeat the collectors. Hell yeah. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Kiddo, we literally just met. Really? I'd embrace you, I'd catch you, I'd drop you. <laughs> Drop you! <laughs> Wait, is this? Am I committing to snoo snoo, guys? Legit question. You're free to answer this question. Is this like. Am I committing to a relationship here if I say this? I'm tempted by a renegade mission again. No flirt. No, you're not committing. Not committal. Kind of. Kind of. It's a side thing. I don't think so. It's just flirty, okay? Not yet. Okay, I, I, I'd embrace you. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything Ooh. else you'd like to talk about? Uh, investigate your pen. <clears throat> I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Wah, wah, wee, wah. Ta da 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 da. Music, stop, 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 stop. Okay, uh, Miranda, 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 Miranda. Where was she again? Where was she again? And her, she had her own, she had her own thing, right? Crew, elevator, crew's quarters, yeah, here. Hey, Infinite, welcome in. I see that the romancing goes better than in GDA. <laughs> Hi, Yulias, welcome, how are you doing? Wait, she had a room over here somewhere, I think, to the side. If I remember here. Yeah, nice, I remember. Saving, okay, hello. Commander, what can I do for you? Can we talk? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. so. So nice. What would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? High infinite. The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. Who's in charge? But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust mm -hmm. the elusive man to make the right decisions. <gasps> Enzo! But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. We keep our ranks and structures similar to the Alliance. A lot of our recruits started there, but not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. Besides the heat, how's the game going? This game is going good, we just started. Like, I feel we're still in the getting to know everybody phase, you know? Um, how hard is it for you, Aeolus? I think here it's actually not that bad. I think it's, um... Uh, it's cloudy outside and 24 degrees, which is okay, I'd say. Degrees Celsius, that is. Uh, resources. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. 
But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. Mm -hmm. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Of course, no pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that Oof. you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Ooh. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. It makes you think so. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. I was 24 once good times. <laughs> we're talking about temperatures, <laughs> Uncle. We're talking about we're talking about temperatures. 33 outdoors right now. 27.8 in my room. Ugh. Just do the impossible, okay? 18, but feels like 25. This is fine. I want to know about you. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You're cocky. <laughs> You're genetically modified? What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, uh, I'm superior <clears throat> in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. Hmm. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. So you're perfect? It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my abilities. I don't want to say you're cocky, but she sometimes is cocky. But it is it it seems to open more dialogue and I want to talk more to her, so I'm kind of like in a predicament here right now. Enhanced oh my snoo snoo ooh ah wee wah. Um Guys, is this Booty cheeks. <laughs> Thanks for the follow five minutes ago, booty cheeks. Do it, do it, say it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it now. Say it, say it, say it. Okay. You certainly don't lack for confidence. Well, it's what? just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Helpful team to wit. Let's save. Try it. Reload. No, no, it was fine. Actually, Shepard did not say what I feared she would say. Hands, booty, and looks. I know, right? She got enhanced. <laughs> Quite a bit. Uh, so now we go back to... This is where the map is, right? The Comet Information Center? Bless photo mode. Oh my. Yeah, deck two. Okay. Whatever you need. Can we have some smooth... <laughs> Okay, guys. Commander, there's a message waiting at your private terminal. I believe it's from Counselor Anderson. Yeah, we're gonna do that next time. It's been oh, seven hours, almost 20 minutes. Guys. I, I would love to continue, but it's been quite a bit of a stream, and I still have five songs to sing, so we're gonna... We're gonna continue this tomorrow, the same time we started today, which was seven hours, 20 minutes ago. Um, I... I love this so far. So far this is super great and I'm having super fun. Um, 